we're good. Oh, you even got my good side too. I'm on this <laughs> Is side. it really? Yeah. Do you do that for slop too? Uh, You're on your side. Not re- well. Luckily, I, I mean, mine's different. Mine's we're both face forward. Oh yeah. That's uh, true. I had kind of have like a fire and the kids set up. Oh, do you like that more? I mean, I'm sure obviously. I do only because like uh, we're kind of not really. We're not like this like where i'm just staring at you yeah i thought i'm saying this is bad yeah but just sometimes i get uncomfortable because then it's like you know <laughs> so then it's like at least if we're like at a slant then it's like we're looking at each other sometimes yeah. we're also just like looking in the background you're like where do we the camera we're like where do we look yeah exactly yeah i know there's been times where i wanted to switch it up like um i know i have to so yesterday after where no, was my I? back is your store oh yesterday i was at in and out and i was looking in the mirror and i realized like fucking sometimes you I, slouch. Sit, I sit like an asshole i like these chairs though it pushes my lower back so that one's jair's oh nice and uh this Shout is out disgusting to <laughs> thanks to jair yeah well it's funny because like when we got the studio he was like uh well it was mainly me i'm like a nazi with stuff like that yeah. as you know you're not recording are you yeah Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna like, oh, I'm setting up and stuff. No, no, you're good. Uh, right. You know how I'm like a Nazi with shit like that. So when we got the studio, like, I wanted everything to be the same. I wanted yeah. the desk to be the same. I wanted the chairs to be the same. And Jared did all the work to like find the fuck, uh, find the the chairs and find the desks. And he found the chairs, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah get that one. And I still haven't bought mine. <laughs> I'm, I'll get mine later. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm here more than he is too, and I end up always a. Uh, I end up always using his chairs, and mm-hmm. there'll be times where I'll be sitting on his chair and I'll like bust ass, and then <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, bro, you're keeping that chair, and I'm gonna buy. He's like, I'm, he's like, you're gonna keep that one, and you're gonna buy me a new one. I was like, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, dude. Salad, bro. Welcome back. Cheers. Thank you. I was thinking, I was like, I'm sure somebody is gonna have something to say and be like, why is Jordan back? Why don't you have somebody new? <laughs> dude, I don't care. I like, don't care either. I, bro. I'm gonna have reoccurring guests all the time. I mean, yeah. you must small, dude. Like, there's only so many people you can get in. <laughs> you know, we don't have the money to be flying people from yeah. up. Dude, because I, I, I have friends from, like, Texas and Colorado. It's like, if I had the money, I would definitely fly them in just to get yeah. them in for a weekend or a day. Yeah, we don't have Rogan money, bro. Yeah, exactly. Well, and I was like, uh, remember how there would be times where, like, we wouldn't do the potty for a while? We mm-hmm. wouldn't do Stokes and Stroke. We'd be like, we're back. Well, yeah. No, yeah, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was, and I was just talking uh, to my girl about that because I saw the one with Kara where yeah. you did that whole thing. And like, you're like, we're back. And then you had brought up, like, I don't want to do that whole thing. I just want to kind of go into, like, I've, I've never been gone. Yeah. And that's and when you said that, I was like, that's so true. Because there's times where I have episodes where I haven't done it in a while. Shit happens. Yeah, like, sometimes it, it goes from, like, I post, like, once a week to, like, I post, like, once a week and then yeah. once a month. And <laughs> so then it's like... It's like, I don't want to jump into it like, hey, uh, I know I haven't been here in a while. Like, they fucking know I haven't you been here in a while. You do this grand thing, yeah. and then you don't follow up, and you're like, damn it. Yeah, yeah, it's just too much hype. So I was like, if I'm not here, then I'm not here. But if I am, I am. But exactly. I want to try to do it every week. So I was like, what oh, was yeah. fucking called Jordan? Yeah, and I if, know. Uh, yeah. If you're here, like, for three weeks in a row, then you're here for three weeks in a row. Or if I had to do it by myself, but mm-hmm. I just want to do it consistently. So I was like, you know what? Let's just get Jordy back on. Yeah, I like your style. I think I'm going to do that with Chris. Yeah, like Chris loves to be on that. People love Chris, huh? Dude, well, yeah, <laughs> dude. Like, uh, uh, well, I think Manny's the first one that I have the most views on. And oh, then it's shit. Chris. Dude, Chris is cool. Yeah. I think you guys have a really funny dynamic because Chris is very dry. He is, isn't he? <laughs> and I try to get him to like come out and he's just like, come out, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. I know. And I ask him some crazy questions. He's just like, I don't know. Like, but I think that's what's <laughs> funny about you and Chris because like complete opposites, complete opposites, yeah. bro. And he's so funny. But he's not like he's not dry in the sense where like he's not uh, his personality isn't, you know, he doesn't have a fun personality. He's no, just yeah, yeah. the way he expresses himself is very like, yeah. Try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like, I think the last podcast we did, uh, no, no, the one before that, when I did it at, at Tommy's, um, he uh, he got, like, super drunk. Oh. We were taking shots all the time, and he got <laughs> super drunk. And, dude, he would just blabber on. Dude, no lie. I had to go. I had to do a four-hour podcast until, like, one hour. Because there was so much stuff oh, that I had to shit. cut out because it was just, like, him, like, talking about the same stuff that he already talked about. Yeah. He wanted to call Steven, and we had a whole conversation with Steven. But, it, like, I had to, <laughs> but, like... And then at the same time, you didn't hold yeah. the phone the right way, so uh, you couldn't hear Steven. Yeah. So then I was like, I'm just going to have to cut all this out. Like, yeah, it's done. Yeah, so and when he, <laughs> it's funny because I tried to get him to talk more by drinking. Oh, and then when that he, didn't work. Yeah, that didn't work. It <laughs> totally backfired. <laughs> I was like, well, this was a bad idea. <laughs> then I got him every time he took a shot, he almost like gagged and threw up. <laughs> I was like, yo, it's not a dick. Like, I'm taking it so hard, bro. Chill. <laughs> But that was the first one that you guys did in your house, huh? Yeah. That was his first time ever being on a podcast. He never done... Uh, no. I guess, yeah. I, he was never was on yours? No. No, he was. Yeah, you're right. Then Yeah, that was the first one. Because then 
uh, the next one you guys did was the one that was at the lake. Guys, that was cool. by the fire. That was so sick. That would do. That was a mission though, because it was like I had to get out like, um, like extension cords and stuff, yeah. and it was like we were outside. Yeah. And then at first Ambrose was helping, and then he's like, "I'm gonna go inside." So I was like, "Fuck!" So I then like you. towards the <laughs> end, yeah, I just had to keep going, press record, yeah, and then go back. And I was like, "Just keep talking. I'm gonna go do this." And like it, it was, it was tough. I was like, "Never again." But yeah. it, it came out good. I, I like that it caught the like crackling of the fire and stuff. Yeah, that's what was cool. Yeah, and you could hear like the frogs in the back. And I was like, I didn't even know like it could catch, yeah. capture all that. That's kind of the cool thing about having like the H fours mm-hmm. and like these little mini recorders and all this stuff is you can literally take it anywhere. And I've I watch podcasts like the History Hyenas now where they just mm-hmm. hold on to it like you wanted to. And remember, I was like, Nah, nah. We don't about holding the mic. Yeah, you. Yeah, I don't hold- like it now. You don't like it no, no more. No, I'm only doing it because I can't find my fucking mic stands, <laughs> and I, I'm so pissed because I. I already have some, and yeah. I, I'm gonna be mad if I buy some and then I find them, and then they're gone. And I'm gonna be like, God damn! So now I have four for no fucking round. I have four mics, <laughs> but you never know. Oh, you don't. Have, well, then just buy four mics, and you can have a four mic show. Oh yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just buy four mics. I have all the money in the world, <laughs> and I only have a fucking recorder that only has you have, only for two mics. But you have left you have left the door open for your podcast to do whatever you want. Hence the name. Yeah, it's very true, and that's what I love is like. Like, the other day, Manny had reposted one of my podcasts, and he was like, yeah. if you like to listen to, like, random shit, talk, or, or you like to hear people talk about random shit, like, go check out my boy's podcast. And I, I was like, awesome. it is random. Because, and then just the other day, like, a couple weeks ago, I was talking to Asada's brother. Yeah. And even he was like, dude, like, what's your podcast about? You know, like, <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, that's the, that's the grand thing of it. Like, it yeah. doesn't have to be about anything. I don't have a set theme. You just want to talk to I people. just have people on, and it's like, sometimes I have... Like, I'll have, like, Mark, and he, we talk about, like, his, you know, uh, going to UCLA and how he's going to school for all this, like, animation yeah. and stuff. Then I have, sometimes I have Chris, where it's just, like, we just talk about, like, sometimes we get, you know, conspiracy theories, because I just yeah, like yeah. to hear what he thinks about it. <laughs> and then we talk about, like, why he dresses like he's in the military, <laughs> and why he does workouts like he's a Navy SEAL. And I just love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, dude, I think... Uh, I remember, uh, I remember when we first broke off from the podcast and we did our own, like people were like worried about it, but I think you having, we talked about in the last one, like you having slob is cool because you totally fell into your own thing and yeah. it's so cool. Yeah. I like seeing you being interested in other people's shit because <laughs> the way you just like relentlessly ask them questions, I think it's funny, dude. I think it's cool. Yeah. And it's funny because before I was bringing guests in, I had like a whole list of like things I wanted to randomly ask them, like to make yeah. them feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and actually before the solving the pod, I wanted to name it uh, um, Comfortably Uncomfortable. That's funny. Which was like getting, and all these people I knew that were like not like how I was, yeah. to ask them questions like, so what's your favorite sex position? And then just be like, oh <laughs> shit, like, uh, I don't know, you know? But then yeah. I was like, started thinking about, I was like, no, because then people are going to start to get uncomfortable to the point where it's like, I don't want to be on the show because I don't know uh, the questions he's going to ask. Like, I don't want to be on the slob in the pod, they're going to make me feel weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so at this point, I'm just like, okay, I'll bring them on, and then we'll we'll talk serious, we'll get kind of funny, and then every night randomly I'll be like, yo, so like, what's up? Like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just try to throw some stuff at them, like curveballs. Yeah, you gotta you gotta warm up to it, dude. You yeah. can't just you can't just go in dry. Yeah, sometimes I even like I think with uh, with um, with Mark, I sent him a list of questions, and I was like, <laughs> if there's anything in there that you don't like, let me know because I know he's trying to you know yeah he has, have, a, he has a future yeah you know and like he's a teacher <laughs> yeah even like with him cursing like at the end I was like I could believe some of the stuff I was like oh, I think you're fine I think you're fine like Mark is so funny yeah I love Mark he is such a character bro yeah just that their whole group like Mark you never know what you're gonna get like what Mark you're gonna get. Oh yeah, you don't know if you're gonna. Sometimes get, he's shy. So, sometimes he, sometimes he's very artistic and out and out in left field. Yeah, and then maybe he'll like, throw well, a Mark's dick. here. <laughs> <laughs> Which what, what mark are you today, dude? <laughs> sometimes he'll come with a mustache, with the curly mustache and long hair, and the yeah. next day he'll shave it. Yeah, he's such an he's such an you know what he is? He's such an artist, bro. Definitely, he's such an artist. I can't wait for him to cut his left ear off. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of art, <laughs> who was that? Uh, Van Gogh. He oh yeah, yeah, yeah he did huh? I forgot yeah I don't know yeah. why I suppose I think he said he was hearing like demons in his head or something so he just cut that while shit he off. painted yeah so he, it's like it's just annoying I feel like I cuss too much but I have to cut my mouth off yeah see that's another thing too is um I think I curse a lot dude but I, I think it was just being in the military and hanging out with all guys it's just what that you was do. just and I was even talking to who was I talking about who was I talking with the other day and I even I brought it up and I was like yeah dude like I didn't realize I cursed until I was hanging out with Sida and she was like you cuss a lot huh yeah. and I was like. I don't know, do I? Is it, isn't it weird how, uh, I don't know about you, but like when somebody tells me that, it almost feels like an attack and I feel stupid. Yeah. I'm it's, like, oh, God. Like it makes me feel like a bad person. I'm ashamed of it. Yeah. I'm like, God damn it. Like you're one of those badass kids, right? When you were in yeah. school, I was like, no, I wasn't even like this. No. It just out of nowhere, I'd just be like, yo, that's fucking crazy. Like instead, <laughs> why can't I just say, yo, that's crazy? It's <laughs> like, a filler word, huh? 
Definitely. It's a filler word. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that when I was listening to the last episode with Kara, like, I wasn't thinking too much about what I was saying, and I would just... I, I was, but, you know, I would use... It's a filler word, so when you're mm-hmm. trying to kill dead air, you'll just say something like that, or if you don't have a good word to use, then you'll just say fuck or something. Yeah, that's true, because when you heard it, you're like, the, f- the fucking... The, instead yeah, of saying, yeah, like, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, which I... Honestly, yeah. I'd rather prefer a curse word than, like, uh, the, uh, the... But you uh, know what drives uh, me nuts? When people say freaking... Just, oh, just yo, don't, just don't cuss. The, yo, just don't who cuss. the fuck was I talking to? Just, oh, <laughs> I was talking to Ezra. And he says That's freaking? what it was. No, no. So it's we were talking because cool. he was talking because oh, we were hanging. We were on Sunday. We were watching football, yeah. and he brought his daughter and uh, his his son over. And um, yeah. oh, he brought Nigel boy or did yeah. he bring Frank? No, no, no. Yeah, Frank. I love yeah. Frank too. He was cool too. And um, but he said something, and his daughter repeated exactly. I think she said shit. <laughs> And he was in, and like he started laughing. He's like, "You no, you can't say that." And she walked away, and we were talking about it. And I was like, "Dude, like," and I tell him how like whenever I'm with like people's kids, yeah, and they curse, it's so hard for me not to laugh. It's the funniest. Yeah. thing. Yeah. And he was like, he, and he even said he's like, "Kids, c- kids cursing is like the funniest thing." And I was like, "It is." <laughs> and so when whenever whenever she like did it, I hid myself from laughing because yeah. I know kids are little; they they feed into it. So they're like, yeah. "Oh, it's it's making them laugh. I'm gonna keep cursing." They think it's a joke. Yeah. So it's like hard for like the parent to like tell them it's bad while everyone's laughing at them. Yeah. So I I was just telling him like, "No, dude, it's cool." He's like, "I do it too sometimes," and that's what we were talking about. And he was like, "Honestly, like I," he's like, "I've met people that." Try not to curse, so they'll say that it's like, "What the freak, dude!" Like, <sighs> and I and he's like, "I honestly prefer them to just say the word, just than say just to say." You're it. halfway there, yeah. bro, because you I know your that. intention. I hate like, "What the heck?" <laughs> <laughs> like, "What the heck, dude?" But honestly, a little kid saying "What the heck" is adorable. When little kids say, "Yeah," what the heck? when it's grown ass people, no, dude, don't and they're say just heck. like, "What the heck is that?" Like, <laughs> what do you? I laugh more. Than <laughs> what the heck is what? Come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on, dude, just stop. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. It got hot in here, huh? A little bit. Just the energy. Should we put the AC down? It's up to you, dude. This nah. is your studio. I know, dude. Which I love, by the way. I love what you've done Thanks, with the place. Thanks, dude. Yeah, check <laughs> it out, man. Let's just take a little look-see, bro. I definitely, like I said, I love this whole uh, back background, backdrop, whatever you guys call it. Oh, the mini? Yeah, dude, it's so dope. I And um, I'm so excited you guys did this because we definitely want to get some. Hopefully we get a date in. I don't know. Yeah, dude, but, come through. Yeah. I don't know. We, we want to come up with some costume ideas. <laughs> yeah. Or see, we're just going to come with, like, black. Because I like what... Uh, what Jared and Keeks did very stoic. They, it looked like uh, the Adams family. No, Adams family. Yeah, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, I know, dude. Because like when we, well, first off, like this is all Keeks, bro. Like Keeks is she oh, has yeah, ideas yeah. for. We know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody know that. knows that. <laughs> if it was you guys, it'd be like a fucking hay bale and like some pumpkins around. <laughs> that's exactly what. <laughs> <And> some, <laughs> that's exactly what we were talking about originally. And then Keeks come up with this haunted, uh, this haunted mansion idea, and I was like, dude, that's so sick. I love it, dude. She just went off. Like I just said, go off. And all I did was like just move that there, move this here up, like, and it'd, that's it. Yeah, it'd be dope if you guys had like two little spotlights, like of purple light, just dude in the background. So I was talking to Danny about that, and I was like, maybe we can do like a orange hit in the back or something. But you know, depending on people's costumes and stuff. And, yeah, dude, what are you smoking? Oh, uh, it's just it's uh. So when I did my thirty days of sobriety, your cleanse. I I I got to doing puff bars fucking ridiculous i know dude. and so it, it, i like this because it gives me like a little head rush careful it's got um i was no. gonna say caffeine no. it's got nicotine uh. so if you take it a, a lot of people that hit it i'm just telling them like oh it's just like a hookah but it's not because as soon as you take one hit it like it kind of burns your throat a little it smells good dude it's really good i'm not i don't know if i should yeah no you but, with shouldn't. all this i, I, I was doing a, yeah dude don't fucking get me on another thing <laughs> um I, w- I was doing the cbd um mm-hmm. vape for a while and i loved it but um i was talking to our cousin roxy and this was when like the pandemic was like hot uh, here we go i know i don't like i'm just gonna tell you i don't want to do too much pandemic no no, no, no not the pandemic talk it's just because uh, i've been listening to a lot of rogan because at work yeah i have like i just you know lift shit and yeah do that so I just listen to podcasts. Oh, like I, dude, I listen to like whole episodes of Rogan. So that's how oh, much I like I listen to it like now. Hours. Yeah, but I pick like cool people, like because uh, he has so many people on there. I'm like, who the fuck is this? I don't know. So I know, yeah. and if I have time, I'll listen to those. But if I don't, I, I usually listen to my favorites. But no, I was talking to Roxy, and it was when I was doing it, and it was like in the like when it was all starting, and it was when you know we were all learning. It was like a respiratory thing. Mm-hmm. So then I just stopped doing it. I did it more when I heard that. 
<laughs> dude, I swear when the corona happened, I was like, I'm trying to get it. Dude, I swear. I so it sounds so bad. Like I'm that type of person yeah. where like if I get in a car accident, I'm gonna start recording and everyone's gonna be like, yo, you should probably like call 911 before you record this. No, no, no. I'm gonna so, document like, my whole I feel like that's kind of half of it. You need a documentary experience because like what exactly. if someone tries to get brazy on you? Exactly. So when I got so I was like, dude, I wanna get COVID so I can like do podcasts while I have corona, like obviously with myself. So yeah. I don't catch anyone, or I can just be like in a big bubble while I have someone in. <laughs> and like I just be like, dude, like I don't feel anything. You can just like I wanted like- to document my like corona experience but i haven't gotten it i feel like you probably already had it dude i, I don't First, think so at all you you felt fine well i've taken two tests and i were both negative did you just for the hell of it or what well the first time i took it was for the hell of it for funsy just because i a lot of people I'm hanging out with had it oh shit and so i was like well i should probably get tested because maybe i was so asymptomatic fucking, yeah yeah so then i took one they're like now you're negative i was like fuck so then i took it a second time because my little bro got it. Ambrose got it. Oh, Ambrose. But he was a uh, false positive. He ended up having uh, only, um, what's it called? I can't remember what he had. He had something like completely different. Yeah. And uh, so he was false positive. So I took another one, but I was negative again. See, that's the type of shit that makes me not want to get tested, bro. How are you going to get false positives? Art, uh, my uh, Theo Art was false yeah. positive too. He had to be out of work for like two weeks. See, he- I don't understand. How do, how do they justify it false positive? I really don't even know. Do you, I don't wanna, know. Do you want this coaster? Yeah, please. Bro, this is kind of disgusting. But what is that? Is that your bro, skin? I just, your nail? I just ripped this off of my from yesterday in CrossFit when yeah, I ripped, yeah, yeah. bro. I just ripped it off. I know. I I don't get those, so I'm like, am I not going hard enough? Because I no, see, because <laughs> I see you like, yo, know, even side of the other day, her hands were bleeding. Bro, let's talk about that. You do CrossFit now? Dude, I do CrossFit. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's embarrassing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> not just kidding. I remember you used to talk shit to me about doing CrossFit. Dude, yeah, I still talk shit about there, it. <laughs> <laughs> I still got I still, Sorry, coach. <laughs> Coaches. Sorry, guys. There was days where you'd be like, we're going to go to CrossFit. Yeah. And now you go. Yeah. Hey, well, you're I, good at it, dude. Thank you. Uh, it's something, honestly, me and Sider both talked about it. When we The first time we both went, we just went because we were trying to look good and like for all the wrong reasons, pretty much. I mean, not, that's, not that that's the wrong reason no, no. or a bad thing, but... Um, we weren't really like motivated. It got you in the door. Yeah. And so what happened was we had a little, you know, something happened in the family. So yeah. when that happened, I we were just, and she was actually the one that came up with it. She was like, what if we go to CrossFit? Like, what if that, like, what if something like hard like that yeah. challenging gets us off, gets our mind off of it? Yeah. And I was like, shut, I'm down if you are. And so I think that kind of just got us in there. And then now, like, we're, at, like, she's addicted. No lie. Yeah, like, even yeah. if I don't go, she's like, well, I'm still going to go. I know. I see her go there by herself. Yeah. And I love that. I love that That's she cool, goes. Man. And I love that she's so committed. And she's she's starting to become, like, a CrossFitter. Because now she's like, look, I fucking, I see her on her phone looking at, like, Metcons, Metcons and shit. <laughs> Dude, she's got the And bug, she's like, bro. oh, are these cute? And I'm like, <laughs> oh. I was like, okay. Next thing you know, watch. Just wait till the winter, bro. She's going to buy a shitload of Born Primitive joggers. No, she already said she doesn't like them. No, She's bro. like, everybody has them. She's yeah. like, I'm just gonna wear my own thing. Just wait like, till she gets her. Yeah. Just wait till she gets them. One set. Do you have any? No. They're fucking cozy, dude. I don't wear joggers. That's tr- okay. Well, if you don't wear joggers, what do you wear during the winter? Uh, shorts. Uh, I wear shorts, dude. Bro. Dude, I I swear. Even when I was when I was in Colorado, we used to do our PT test you in the winter shorts? time. So what you do is like you start. I think you do push up sit ups first. Yeah. Once you pass those, you go on to the two mile run. So. As you as you go, you can. It's so when you first start in the winter time, you have all layers. You have a beanie, you have uh, gloves, you have a jacket, you have a long sleeve, you have your shorts, and yeah. then you also have your running pants. So you're fully covered. So as soon as the test starts, you have the chance, you have the opportunity to like take layers off. Mm-hmm. So whenever it come to the run, dude, I take everything off. All I would run with was like my long sleeve, my shorts, and a beanie. And even then, like halfway through the run, That's I take it off. Dude, because I just get so hot. Like, I don't care how cold it is. I just get so damn hot that I'm like, I like I have to, like, I just want to rip my fucking clothes off. <laughs> I, <laughs> I swear. So even in the wintertime, dude, I'm still going to be wearing shorts. I know. Uh, like, when we go to California, like, that's the that's the fit, bro. Shorts and a sweater? Shorts and a oh, sweater. Oh, yes. Oh, that's such the vibes, bro. I hate when I see people, like, wearing sweats and a sweater. It's like. It's not that cold. It doesn't look comfy just, It either. doesn't look comfy. It's too much. you know much. your waist is sweaty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> You know, your knees start, start to sweat a little. I yeah. don't like that feeling. Me neither, dude. But I love the winter, dude. I, I'm so excited for the, what it's coming. Yo, I fucking thrive right now, today, dude. Today, uh, Sida was in the office doing like, her Zoom for class, and yeah. she was texting me. She's like, what are you doing? 
Cause like I'm in the living room, like the fuck. <laughs> and anyways, and she's like, I just saw the weather. She's like, on Saturday it's supposed to get a low of 69, and not because Whoa. the number, but I like yeah, I yeah. told her I was like, my heart literally just started racing because yes. I got so excited. We can go outside, and, yeah, and not hate it, because that means it's gonna be like a high of 100, which to a lot of people is hot, but to us it's like, yo, it's dude. time to get the sweaters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's sweater weather, dude, <laughs> and Uggs. I know, and it's so funny here too because it's totally. A Yuma thing. I don't know if it's just Yuma, but it's definitely like a, this area that, like, as soon as it breaks to the seventies, it's a desert pe- thing. I it's think. a desert thing. Yeah. People throw on sweaters real fast. It's funny you say that. Uh, just the other day when I when I went to work, like, because I go to work at like two thirty, <laughs> three in the morning, <laughs> yeah. so it's pretty. It's it's you know it's cooler than it is during People the day. Are but there was the, I don't know if you remember there was like three days where it was like a high of like ninety. Yeah, like three days only, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's getting cold." I'm like, "Chill," yeah, calm, because yeah. it's gonna get like this, yeah. and then it's gonna go spike right back up. Yeah. But anyways, I go to work and like these two. Uh, these two guys, they're yeah. uh, they had sweaters on. They're like, oh, it's oh, chilly. I'm like, God. bro, what you do you guys swear? And yeah, they were, I think they were like former Marines, so they weren't from Yuma. Oh, yeah, so they were just like, oh, it's getting cold. I'm Isn't like, dude, that so funny that aspect of Yuma, like these these Marines that come here from all over the world and them trying to get acclimated to the weathers is kind of hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's just a, uh, I don't know. I think you just get moved around so much. Like, imagine like. Like I said, like oh, I was you stationed, too. I was stationed in Colorado, and then being in Texas, yeah, like polar opposites, bro. Yeah, dude. Uh, Alex just left to the Middle East, dude. What? For what? <laughs> he just got he just got deployed. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, dude. He's gone. Dude, what? When? Uh, he actually left like two days ago. God. Yeah, he's like in the Middle East right now. God bless his soul. I know, dude. And he left me his cactus. Oh, it's nice. His name's Sancho. I don't like those things. Whenever I see him, I just want to fucking grab him. I don't know why. <laughs> I see him. I swear, I see him at Walmart and like, and like fucking in the stores, and I and like Home Depot. I just want to grab him. I don't know why. <laughs> grab the cactus. Yeah, like it looks like a thumb. Like, <laughs> grab. I just want to grab. Yeah, it's like it's, I'm a little kid, dude. I, I see do, things and I just want to touch it. I just want to grab it. I, I poke it all the time, just because like as a kid, dude. Uh, they told me that like if I touch a cactus, like they'll jump and spike into my. There hand. are some like that. Oh, they're, really? they're called. Uh, I, th- I think they're called jumping cactuses. I don't think. But it's if you get one. close enough, they'll just shoot out at you. That's I think it's like it's weird. the defense mechanism for like That's animals. So crazy, dude. Yeah. That like a plant can do that. Yeah, it's like a Venus flytrap. Venus flytraps trip me out. We should get one. I want one. We should, but get I want to like I want to get a camera on it and record when it catches flies because that's it. Yeah, so that's the whole cool thing. When it catches flies, what does it do? Like it like puts them to sleep or what so? Is- no, no. So like so here's the Venus flytrap, right? Yeah. So essentially, it's a, it's just like a little pod. I know it's when the little hairs get touched. Yeah, that's yeah. When it so clamps. it's like sticky, and I think it sends off like it's like sugar for flies. So okay. the stuff that's in there. So then as soon as the flies gets in there, it traps them, and then the thing. The only thing that pisses me off is like it moves like slow. It goes like this. It's not like, that. yeah, but you got to think of a fly. It's because it's not that the, oh, you don't, the, spook, it's not yeah, that huh? wide open. So when it creeps in, by the time it's about to fly away, it's already like got its wings down. It's done, dude. And it just, closes. it gets so stuck. Have you ever, they have it like on, oh, make sure we're good. Yep. They have it on like, um, I'm sure like some sort of fucking documentary. No. But it, it's like, it's, it's like stuck and then it just traps it and then it just eats it alive. But it doesn't eat it though, because it doesn't swallow it. It just like sucks something out of it, right? It sucks, I think. Like, oh, I think it decomposes it. Is what like it takes does. its soul away. Yeah, it just takes its soul. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, you just, just see a, a fly like skeleton in there. <laughs> oh shit! Another. <laughs> it just sucked all the skin out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool to get a plant like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, well, for now, I have I have his cactus. We try to have plants in here, dude. Mm-hmm. Like succulents, you know, just. Oh, I love them. Just trying to be cute. Is that like a grown-up thing? Because yeah, out of nowhere, I want plants. I, I think, like, I go to the store, and I'm like, that's a cool <laughs> that's a plant. That's a sick-ass plant. But when I was younger, I was like, the fuck plants is... Plants are stupid. Yeah. Well, bro, it's crazy, because uh, how much plants will just add to your space. Like, yeah. it just feels better. It, and a lot of it, too, I would think, well, it, a lot of it is, like, with the air like that you breathe. Oh, the yeah. air feels fresher, um, more fresh. The air feels more fresh, and it just... Is fresher it, not a word? I don't know. It didn't feel right coming out the mouth. I feel like more fresh doesn't. <sighs> yeah, I know. But I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, you get the gist. <laughs> but like adding plants just helps the space feel a little bit more homey. And I don't know. I bet you there's some sort of like scientific, scientific reason. But I like it. But we couldn't have them in here because Jared and I are terrible plant parents. Mm. Dude, look at his plant over there. <laughs> it's dead. 
<laughs> Why is it still there? I don't know. But that's his space, so I don't touch it. So I just leave it there. That's cool. You're a cool roommate. Yeah. <laughs> You're a cool office mate. Yeah, dude. I just leave it. He's like, you see it dying around the water? It's like, dude, that's your spot. I it's don't want to touch it. <laughs> I know, and I had some in here, but like, I wasn't in here a lot, so it was hard to like keep it alive. And it, but and uh, like at Alexis' house, she has a bunch of plants, mm. and she was like, "You're a terrible dead, like plant dead." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm not the greatest," because <laughs> I just let her do it, bro. Because otherwise, if I do it, then we're both gonna end up watering. And it's just gonna die anyway. So I'd rather have her kill it than both of us kill it. Yeah, I, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I have the green thumb, and I don't know how. Oh, I you just, do? Yeah, like Slob is still he's Slob's growing. Going? He's growing, dude. So I, so I had him up at the lake with me when I was working up there, and he was dude. getting big and green and shit. We had to replant him because he was getting too big for his little pot. Yeah. And um, about halfway through, I was like, I'm going to take him down to, to the, our house now. Yeah. And it was t- turning yellow and shit. So I was like, I don't know. Oh, I'm sh- watering it. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. fuck. So then I had to take it back. And now that I'm back home, I'm watering, and he's thriving again. Yeah. But like... Yeah, I'm definitely like I don't know, but I don't even try anything. I just do like I what I think is right with plants. Like I water yeah. them, I talk to them, I put them <laughs> in the sun sometimes. Put LL Cool J on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I no, I don't know. I just I don't know. I just do what I think is right, yeah. and then it somehow works. Because all plants that we have are still living, and any ones that are dying are because of Sida. <laughs> She's like, my plant's dying. I'm like, yeah, tell me something I don't know. Just stop touching it. Yeah, just, just don't look at it. Just leave it alone. <laughs> um, I was trying to. I w- I was trying to become a green thumb and trying to be better at it and i, I was on pinterest like down like trying to find a bunch of uh stuff on how to like take care of them and even like alexis bought a big one that was like 70 dollars. i was like okay well i'm gonna learn because i'm not trying to kill this thing. 70 dollars, yeah that's a fu- and it was one as tall it's sick it's got i think it's called i forgot what it's called but it's the one that's got like the little stripes all over it. it's like the big ones but is it the one is it just shoot straight up or what is it yeah, well, it shoots straight up, and it has, like, the big leaves, and there's, like, and it's got, like, white on them. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It looks like a tiger stripes on the leaves. I feel like we have one. Maybe. Because we have one that's planted, and it just goes straight up, and it has, like, a bunch of white lines on it. Maybe. Oh, know. that's a spider plant. No, I don't fucking know. Yeah, whatever. It's a plant. Oh, snake plant, sorry. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's a snake plant. But uh, I, try to get be- I try to get better at it, dude, but... Um, I'm just not good at it. I don't know why. Like, even the, the ones that you don't take a lot of attention, like, I just, you know, it just dies. I just yeah. don't have it. Some people have it. I just don't have it. Yeah. I have it. I don't even know how. <laughs> just like my mom used to tell me, like, if you give a girl or anyone flowers, yeah. if you give it to them with love, like, if you truly mean it, then yeah. it'll last longer. And oh, so all shit. the time I give, like, cider roses or, uh, like, whatever I give her, they, they last for a while. Oh, like, you know, it, like, I think, like, plants like roses and, like, fucking yeah. flowers you buy, like, at the stores are, like, goldfish at, like, fairs. Like, you know they're not going to last long. <laughs> they're gonna they're just for look. They're going to die. You know they're going to die. Yeah, yeah, but, like, they'll last long. Like, I'll come home and I'm like, oh, shit, these things are still growing. She's like, yeah, I don't know what to do with them. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I replant them or what. <laughs> they don't die. Yeah. There's this, uh, there's this rose that I had with um, my friend. You remember Steven Salazar, the painter? Steven Salazar. The one that did the, um, he does all those, like, creepy paintings. No. Well, he's a homie, and we did a photo shoot a while ago, and he used like a rose, and my uh, we have it at the house, and it's in like the medicine cabinet, mm. and I just put it there. My mom, you know, my mom, she like doesn't throw anything away. Yeah. So she put it in there, and dude, it's still there, and it's been there for like five years. It's dead. It's like dead, but it doesn't like. I feel like if you touch it, it's gonna go into dust. Poof. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still there, and it doesn't. It just we haven't tossed it or anything. Yeah. Just I don't, some shit left. That's weird. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Plants some, are plants some, are a weird thing. What's it called? Uh. It's an anomaly. How do you say a witch in Spanish? Oh, what are the worst Mexican? Bruja. It's a bruja. Bruja. Thing. It's a bruja thing. It's Maybe. so funny the other day. So we have the we have the Alexa. We have them all over the house. Oh shit. We have like these two that are like little balls that have like screens on them, which I love. Yeah. You just randomly ask them questions, and then we when we bought our ring, the yeah. little fucking ring doorbell. Oh thing, yeah, yeah. It came with the free one. Oh nice. And. uh it's funny because obviously Saida is Mexican as hell and she always <laughs> like wants to listen to like the most Mexican shit. So it- like whenever she tries to play her music, she has to say it in like a white Mexican accent. Oh. <laughs> so like if she says like play Romeo Santos, they'll be like, I don't I don't know what that is. I don't and know then, what that so, is. <laughs> so then she has to be like, play Romeo Santos. It's like now playing Romeo Santos oh on Pandora. And it's like, oh dude, she has to say it for and it's funny because um like we'll be like play La Chona. Like, like you have to, to say shit so white for it yeah. to understand you. Um, Nate, uh, you know Nate at the gym? No. Big tall Nate, white guy, he's a cowboy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He's like the most Mexican white guy I ever know. No, yeah. And he listens. He, dude, he, doesn't he drink a beer? Yeah, while he works out. I'm going to start doing that. Yeah, we should. But that's his thing, though. I've kind of um, felt like No, no, no. He'll, let, he'll welcome it. Oh, okay. I'm Do it on that. Saturdays, though. Okay. But uh, I don't go, but okay. <laughs> no, you're going to go Saturday. But he, I uh, think I am, honestly. He has the same story with... Uh, with it, but he says instead of like he says, uh, Alexa, play intocable, and then it just like doesn't 
don't recognize it. And then he's like, Alexa, play Intel Cable. Yeah, you have this. <laughs> and then it'll recognize it. It'll be like, so oh, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> <laughs> we need like a Chicano version of an Alexa. Yes. So it understands slang. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, it's well. funny that you say that because I've been, uh, like, I gotta reset, keep going. Oh, okay. Uh, call me like white girl crazy, but we just found out that Keeping Up with the Kardashians is finally gonna end after like however many seasons they've had. And so we've been watching like all the ones from the very beginning. To like now, we watch them like every day. We watch them just keeping up with the Kardashians like every fucking day. And I honestly like, I, I figured out why people watch this shit, and I love it. I, I mean, one, they're you know they're good to look at, and two, it's like <laughs> they just have so much rich people drama that we don't deal with. Yeah. So it's like it's good to watch it and take a break from our like basic ass drama, which actually is uh, like real life drama. I can see what you're saying. But you watch it, and it's like that's so cr- like they walk around like oh my god, like today, uh, paparazzi was just. In the way of everything, we couldn't even have a good time. Sometimes I wish I could just live normal. And I tell Saida all the time because she's like, "Oh my god, that's so true." It's like, no, like this. <laughs> the, the thing is, is like they know that they can go live a normal life, and then it's like, okay, I don't like this no more. I'm gonna go back to my rich life. We don't have that. Yeah, we don't. We have, have that. like <laughs> our drama in real life, and then it's like, oh, we're still here. It's either this or super poor. It's either this we or we. <laughs> it's either this or we live on the street. Yeah, we it's, can't just go rich. Them, they either live our life or they go back to their rich life. Yeah, bro. So I like I've been watching it a lot, and uh, fuck I forgot where I, go- I was going with this. What were we talking about before? Uh, Make my eyes vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we were talking about Alexa, and then we went to that. Like, I don't fucking remember. I don't remember. I don't know, but it's a good show to watch. That <laughs> pee though, dude. Oh, you want to take a break? No, just keep going. Let's just take a break. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like using the batteries, but okay. Sorry, we took a break. I had to pee like a like a chihuahua again. All right, we're back. Hola. Uh, <laughs> so actually, while you were taking a piss, I was looking at the whole setup, and it yeah. gave me or it made me think of a story one time. So when I was younger, uh, it's talking about Halloween. Yeah. So when I was younger, like way younger, like in grade school. What the fuck? Weapon, you good? Yeah, it's on one, but fuck it, we'll just roll. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> those de- those batteries are probably dead too. I, f- I know, I mix them up. Sorry, but go ahead. Uh, so, yeah, so when I was like in, in grade school, I was probably like second or third grade, and uh, um, we had, it was obviously, it was like, oh, come to school dressed up, but I missed the part where they said, come to school dressed up, but also bring a second pair of clothes because you're not going to be dressed up the rest of the day. So, <laughs> so <laughs> and I remember this, I don't know why, because I was, it was so embarrassing, but I remember uh, so w- I dressed up as a ninja, like, okay. and so what I wore underneath was what, like what grade, uh, like probably second or third grade, <laughs> and so I I wore like tights, like it was like a whole bodysuit of a tight though, like, yeah, it was all black, and oh, then okay. over you wore like um like a little vest that looked like kind of like um the old school um like scorpion and like sub zero, oh, okay, so like the little V thing, it's tight and you just yeah, have a mask, and then you have like designs on the on the the tight part of your arms, yeah. And you wear a mask, and that's it. And you wear fucking swords in the back of your back. So I remember we get to school. We're doing like a bunch of little activities. Like you play like Duck Duck Goose in your costume. Yeah. Uh, talk about why you chose this costume. All this stuff. Ha- like after lunch, all you <laughs> everyone's like, okay, like go ahead and change your other clothes. Now we're gonna start school. <laughs> like actually do school and stuff. And yeah. I was like, wait, what? I was like, we're supposed to have, <laughs> we're supposed to have like other clothes. <laughs> So, and there was, I remember there, I don't know why I remember this so vividly, maybe because yeah. I was so embarrassed, but yeah. I remember there was, like, a little kid that was, like, a firefighter. Literally, all he wore was, like, the yellow firefighting hat and, like, the coat. Oh. And he was just like, okay, and took it off and, like, hung it up, and he had normal clothes underneath. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? This kid was How did you prepare? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember, like, they're like, oh, Jordan, like, you, you can switch in your clothes. And I was like, I remember just, like, I didn't bring any. Yeah. And so, like, <laughs> they made me take off the vest, take off the mask. I was just sitting there with tights on. <laughs> Tights and like fucking white or a black tennis shoes. Oh, bro. and like and I, I don't know. I feel like there's a picture because they, they used to do this thing where like we'd all sit around on the floor and they'd read books to us. Yeah, and the teacher would. And I feel like there's a picture where everyone's sitting in normal clothes and I'm the fucking one kid in tights. <laughs> 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 so, so like it, I think because I was so embarrassed at a young age, that stuck in my mind, dude. Like I have dreams about it. Or, or still? Yeah, dude, like, it's weird. I know, it's like a fucking there PTSD were, from like when I was little. There was something about, like, being a kid like that where it just felt, like, that time just felt so uh, much m- more more lighter. And it's weird because, I don't know how else to explain it, but, like, it would just seem, it was so much fun. Like, no worries, no nothing. You don't worry yeah. about shit. But at the time, you don't see it that way. Yeah. Like, at the time, like, like me being embarrassed, I shouldn't have been. Because you look at, like, kids 
that were my age now that were yeah. doing stuff like that, like you see them do stuff that's like embarrassing. You're like, they don't care. Like no, like no one should care at that age because in a few in like. 10 years, no one's going to even remember. Dude, and it's By so then, you're probably going to be hooking up with the girl that was laughing at you <laughs> in that class. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, remember that one? Oh, dude, that's yeah. so funny. Glow up. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's funny now because, you know, being around, being older and then being around kids and then seeing, like, our little cousins grow up. Like, kids are weenies now, dude. Oh, big time, Kids dude. are such weenies, big bro. Time. And, uh, like, we always, I always mess with, we always mess with our little cousin Julian, Tommy's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's a weenie. Yeah. But he's so smart. It's, it's like a trade-off. But it's scary smart. It's scary smart, but then there's a trade-off, bro. Like, and it's so funny, because, like, you look at his dad, like, Tommy, like, he's such a hard ass. And, like, I, you would easily say, like, street smart. Yeah. You know, Tommy's a smart guy. But, uh, Julian is, like, very book smart, but also a weenie. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's just so funny. It's like, dude. which one do you want? Dude? Yeah, you gotta, yeah. But, um. Do you want me to know how to sell crack on the side and be you, strong? Or do you want me to, like, go to Harvard and be a fucking wimp? And yeah, you gotta bullied? pick two, dude. <laughs> yeah, which one is it? And, the, yeah, and they, both they both suck. <laughs> they both suck. But it's funny, dude, because, like, uh, even now, like, being around, you know, the younger kids more often, uh, it's just funny seeing, like, just how they deal with, uh, like, resistance. Like, yeah. when you're, like, two or three-year-olds, like, how they deal with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, because we were with some friends not too long ago, and, like, just seeing them, like, interact with each other was so funny because, like, I feel like as a kid, I would always get picked on. Mm -hmm. Like, by Tommy and Gabriel or something. Yeah, we did, definitely. So, yeah, 100%. So, All I feel like they they toughened me up like they were my older brothers because i didn't have an older brother me but either. even me and my little brother like we would scrap all the time dude mm -hmm. and i feel like whenever you got into a real fight or like a real confrontation it felt like you feel the energy yeah but it wasn't like as bad yeah and then now like kids don't even know how to like mentally deal with like those situations it's kind of weird dude yeah like especially right now with everything going on like i don't know how they're dealing with it yeah but even them like i know like i know certain kids are like fuck yeah like there's no school yeah, yeah like yeah. you know we're just doing these fucking things online <laughs> yeah. it's like that's weird <laughs> Like, because, like, I, I enjoyed school. You yeah. know, I was, you oh, know, I, I was out it. there. I had a bunch of friends. I played sports. So I enjoyed all that. Yeah. I can see how, like, kids that are very shy and, and they're like, oh, they thank God, like this, is, this is what I want for school. It's like, this is whack. Like, what I, a, yeah. I think about it and I'm just like, all these kids are, like, just, they have no friends. They can't hang out with anyone. They can't go to recess. You yeah. know, even kids in high school, you know, I don't know if they're playing sports. I don't know what's going on in high school. I think they're still, I think so. I saw something on, on Yeah, Instagram. but they're not in class, though. So they don't get but that But they still whole, let them do sports? Yeah, it's weird. Like, they don't let them, like, they don't have that, like, oh, like, yo, we got a big game today. Like, yeah. getting all prepped up or on Fridays. Or messing like, messing with your friends in class. Yeah, or, like, leaving class early because you have a away game. Oh, that's cool. And, and everyone being hating bad on you. Yeah, you're like, see you later. <laughs> they're like, how the fuck do you get to leave, like, in second period? Like, we have the whole rest of the day. Or even like, talking to chicks. It's such a social thing. Yeah, big time. Oh, man. Dude, I remember, like, when I was, uh, I, I think it was baseball. Yeah, because uh, baseball was the only sport that we traveled to away games with the girls, the softball game. So they would yeah. schedule them together. Yeah. And I remember, dude, there was just one time. Where I don't even know how it happened. I remember I was, like, a freshman or a sophomore, and there was this senior, and, like, every, like, she was cute as fuck. And everyone was, like, yo, you see her, you see her. And uh, I remember we were going to an away game, and... Um, we were waiting outside in, in of the gym, waiting for the yeah. bus to pull up, and all the guys are talking to the girls, whatever. And uh, she comes over, and she's like, oh, she's like, are you playing today? I'm like, yeah, like I'm playing. Like, and yeah. we're just, like, talking, talking, and, like, right when the bus got here, she, like, obviously, it was, I think it was the girls in the front and the guys in the back. I yeah. think that's how it worked. Probably. And, um, and, uh. They're not putting girls. Yeah, there. I know, yeah. Definitely not mixing us. Yeah. And, um, she was like. She's like, oh, like I like I hate bus rides. They're so boring. And I was like, really? Like all I do is like just text people all the time. She's like, well, I don't have anyone to text. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> I got you want to you want to text me? You're like, <laughs> and she's like, yeah. And like, dude, it was crazy because it was like <laughs> those were the times that were fun when it was like, holy shit! Like I'm texting with like a girl that everyone thinks those, is amazing. Those emotions. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. Dude, I remember like from then on. I don't know. I, I think I'm just like fucking flashing myself. But yeah, I remember like after that, we'd be in class and she'd be like, yo, I'm gonna go to the restroom. You should come to the restroom too. And I'm like, what? Ah, <laughs> and, ah. I, and I'd be all talk and then it'd be like, I, they won't let me go. <laughs> but I'd just be so scared. I'm like, what, is she, what are we gonna do in the restroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we gonna do? Like, yeah. but little, do I, did little, little did I know we were just gonna like meet up at the water fountain and talk and then just, just go back to up. class. Yeah. Yeah, you know, nothing I was crazy like, would happen. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I have sex oh, in the restroom. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Dude, the craziest times like in. Like, and kids now don't get to experience that. Yeah, like and they're okay with that. Nah, are they? A lot of kids are. We're gonna have to talk to her a little, dude. Just cause, like, I remember the the rush of just trying to kiss a girl on the lips. Mm -hmm. That was huge. Well, we already talked about this. Just the hug in general. Oh yeah, we it's like did. I hugged her. <laughs> I hugged her in between class. Like, fuck, you hugged with her. two arms. <laughs> it means a lot.
<laughs> or if you go if you go if you go under and she goes over, so then you're like real close to the butt. Yeah, you're like right here. Or where you hug her, where your, your hands are just around her neck, and you pull her in closer. It's super soft. Oh, smell me. Yeah, I put cologne on. And it's funny too because you knew like if you gave like that half hug, you're like she really didn't want that. Oh man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or she would text me like, yo, that was an awkward ass hug. It's like, oh, you wanted the full thing. Oh, I didn't oh, know. And then you oh, know where yeah. you're at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, just those little, like, that's so, that's so important to uh, just your development as a kid. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've been listening to Rogan a lot. And did you listen to the episode where he was talking to Lex Friedman? And, no. Or just a lot. Well, they've been talking about a lot about, you know, this whole AI thing and augmented reality and yeah, just, yeah. you know, robots and shit. Like, is that what AI stands for? I thought it was artificial intelligence. I did. I, yeah, you're right. It is. What did I guess I say? that's different. You said augmented. Aug- <laughs> augmented. I don't know what you, you said. Augmented. <laughs> augmented it, it, reality. Oh, that's. I think I probably said it wrong, but no, that's definitely know. wrong. Yours yeah. is right. Artificial okay. intelligence is right. Yeah. Um, yeah, like in the world that you know our kids or our grandkids will live in, it's just a weird world. Yeah. Like, it's just going to be super different. Even the world right now, like to be able to go to school mm-hmm. online. Yeah. We would have never thought about that. Yeah, and I see memes too, where like they're like, uh, like my fucking. Like eight year old kids supposed to know how to get online and do Zoom and send emails and shit. It's like fuck, that's true. Like I never thought about that. Yeah. Like they're making them grow up way faster, and I'm kind of worried like of wh- how things are gonna be. But also, it could be like a good thing. Like, yeah. You know, come like when they're older, they already know all this stuff. They're not like us, where it's like not until like we were like in high school or out of high school that we learned about social media and how to post things. And yeah, like I remember, dude. I remember when YouTube first came out. I used to think people that posted on YouTube were like stars. Oh. It's like because anyone could just watch them on their computer. It's like, oh, he must be a celebrity. You're famous. You're on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny because I've actually met some of my mom's friends. Um, she still has um, kids that are in like high school and middle school, mm. and they're really cool. And uh, one of them, um, he just found out about me having a podcast. Oh shit. And so he's been watching, and it's cool because he he like told me he's like, dude, I've been watching all your episodes. Like they're so funny, all this stuff. And um, he, we were, had done the episode with Chris at the lake, and yeah. he, he came up to the lake with his mom and stuff, and that his mom told me that he thinks, he thought Chris was like a celebrity. Oh. He's like, <laughs> oh, isn't that the guy from the podcast? Like, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, dude. and like, I was like, that's crazy. Like, that's how I thought. Yeah. And it's, it's cool to think that some kids are like that, and some are just like, oh, he just uploaded that. He was like a younger kid? Oh, yeah. He was, uh, I think he was like a sophomore in high school. That's so funny, dude. Yeah, but... And I was like, that's cool. Like, I got little fans like that. Like, it's cool. It's, it's just cool for kids that come to me. And I even told him, too. I was like, uh, I was like, when you turn 21, I'll put you on, the, I'll put you on an episode. And he's like, 20. oh, fuck. Yeah, he's Sick. authentic. Yeah. <laughs> and I just thought that was cool. Like, it's cool that I have, like, something like that that I can give to someone and make them that excited. And yeah. to me, it's like, to me, it's just like, it's just a video I just upload. Anyone can do this. Yeah. But, you know, he doesn't know that. And so. Yeah. It's, it's fun. Cool. It's cool, man, because everybody has the ability to do it. And it could be, I mean, you're always going to have those outliers that, you know, could possibly potentially ruin it for everybody else. But potentially, you know, it's, it's overall, it's better for everybody because yeah. we all have. The nice thing about now, dude, is everybody has the ability to make money and express themselves. Mm-hmm. And there's always going to be the negative ones. But for the most part, like, you can have your own you can have your own podcast and your own identity and people are going to want to watch yours but it doesn't mean they can't listen to mine and listen to everything else like exactly you know i think it's rad cuz it's awesome and then people are able to you know people are allowed to express themselves and people are entitled to do whatever and you don't even need all this dude you can just do it on your phone yeah and that's the thing with with uh my podcast i had this for a while i had this like mindset that like um i'm not like joe rogan or i'm not like the fighter and the kid or i'm the not like these thing. big ones and i'm like I'm not them. So yeah. I'm not going to get all these people to watch my stuff. I'm not going to get more followers and stuff. But it's like, um, the way I remember, the way I, I thought about it was like, everyone likes everything. Yeah. So it's like, you could have Joe Rogan have a million followers or a, mi- a million listeners, and so can this other podcast. Yeah. And they're completely different. It's like, yeah, everyone likes a little bit of everything. Yeah. And there's so much people in the world that yeah. it's like, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about like, not ha- like, it's not like anyone that listens to Joe Rogan, that's all they listen to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And because I'm like that. I listen yeah. to Joe Rogan. I listen to Burt Kreischer. I it's listen, like TV shows. Yeah. It, just like TV I love shows. It, dude. I, you know, I listen, I, I watch, sometimes I watch like uh, Ghost Hunters and sometimes I watch like House Hunters. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and yeah, everyone yeah. has their thing. And it's like, I, I think I, if I, at first I was worried. I was like, I'm yeah. not them. I'm not doing what they're doing and no one's going to like it. Yeah. And then I was like, but everyone has their own thing. Like, I can have, you know, my own fans or I can have, I can have probably some people listen to Joe Rogan, probably listen to mine, you yeah. know, and that's cool knowing that. Yeah. And I just, I, I don't know, man, I'm not going to lie. I've been in like a funk for a while, especially like with the whole podcast thing. Um, 
I've just been trying to think of ways like to get it out there and like to get more followers and get more listeners and stuff. Yeah. It's been driving me crazy, but I think every now and then I have to step back and just be like, just keep doing it. Yeah. Someone's yeah. gonna catch on. Someone someone's gonna spread the word and you're just gonna find that one person that helps you and it just like throws it out there. Yeah. And I'm do it's crazy because like I'm getting to that point where I just randomly will uh like DM like like mainly uh I'll, like celebrities, but as far as like comedians, only because they know they're not you know a listers, but they know they're there's someone that you know a lot of people know about. Mm-hmm. So every now and then I'll just DM like yo check out my podcast or like in their comments of their posts. Oh I'll that's like, yo cool. check it yeah and I and I I just try to do that and I'm just like I just got to find that one person because I, all these other people I listen to like whether it's a podcast or like comedians mainly comedians um they they just they like yo I had like it was like their one break. Yeah. Like um I was listening to the the fight on the kid and uh Brandon Shaw was talking about how um Bert Kreischer was like his savior. He's like I'll always be, you know, um indebted to him because he's the one that he's oh, yeah, him. because he was like there was one point where no one thought I was funny. No one believed in me and he's like he was the only one that was like, "Well, you know, come over. It, like tell me one of your jokes and we'll work on it." And he's like, and one of the jokes that he helped me with got me on a show on like uh, Comedy Central, like a show they're doing with comedians. Yeah. And he's like, from then on, he's like, people started like, oh, who's this guy? And they just shot him up the roof. And I was like, I like that. And so I'm just like shooting my shot pretty much. But yeah. instead of girls, it's with like guys, <laughs> celebrity guys. <laughs> Dude, like I even, it's so bad. But the other day, uh, Burt Kreischer posted something about, I guess he gets fan mail. I didn't know that. Mm. So he posted his little peel box. And I was like, oh, shit. So... I was thinking about like making him a slob on the pod shirt and Dude, you know, you or a hat or something, sending it to him. Like, yo, just you don't have to do anything, just wear it yeah, or yeah, listen yeah. to an episode, whatever you want. Just yeah. something to get it out there. But you put it in his universe. Because he's so cool like that, huh? He we just put it in his universe. Exactly. Or you can just get a tattoo of him. Mm. No. no. <laughs> There's a do you um do you listen to audiobooks or read them at all? Um uh, I like to read them. Yeah. I I can't listen to audiobooks because I'm like it with podcasts too, like some of Joe Rogan shit. Halfway through, I'm just hearing stuff but i don't know what i'm listening to because uh, i'm just like thinking about other stuff yeah, and yeah. so I'm, I'm like that with audiobooks as like, well see it yeah yeah and so with audiobooks too like it's like a podcast to me so there's this book that um that i'm gonna recommend to you that's like i've been re- i had to reread it because i read it a long time ago and it completely changed my uh my productivity and like how i approach stuff and it's not like one of those like fucking self-help books it's yeah. a it's a it's a book called the art of war and it's sick. oh i've read that the war of art the no, the War of Art. There is the Art of War, and oh. then this one's the War of Art. Oh, okay, okay. So it's uh, I think it's by is it by Matthew Walker? I forgot the uh, the uh, I forgot the author's name, mm. but it's a good book, dude. Because what it talks about is you know is passing that threshold is getting over you know what the he he defines it as like resistance, and he defines you know he defines resistance as this force that keeps you from doing what you need to do. Yeah. And it's not necessarily just creatives. He puts it in a creative, uh, in a creative, uh, identity because he's a writer and the book is, is fun and, and fun to read and listen to because he's a writer and he's very creative the way he writes. Oh, okay. Um, but he, he defines all these things like, um, in the beginning he talks about like, he defines resistance, what it is, what it feels like, you know, in your day-to-day life, what it does. And it talks about like resistance in your day-to-day work, realis- a resistance in like your relationship and like these things that, you know, essentially keep you from doing what you want to do mm-hmm. and what it'll look like. And, you know, it's interesting and they're short, dude. It's like short little things. Yeah. And then, um, and it was crazy cause like you read it and then you go on your day-to-day and then you start defining these things that keep you you have like a definition and like a physical thing in the real world that helps you define, oh, this is what he's talking about in the book that's keeping me from de- doing what I need to be doing, yeah. like what I want to do, like what my heart, what my soul's telling me to do. And then you can identify those things and remove them or move past them. And then he also talks about this concept of like, you know, summoning the muse. And he talks about, you know, showing up every single day, mm-hmm. just like you were saying. And it reminded me of this book because what he talks about is, you know, uh, the main, the big, the biggest thing to do for people like you and I, um, not even just you and I, but for anybody to do to, you know, enhance their productivity or to even to reach a goal is just showing up every single day and doing the thing, mm. you know, just like Josh Bridges says with like, pay the man, you get to show up every day and do the work. Yeah. That's exactly. I got him. Yeah. Huh? I, I unfollowed him. Cause every day I stopped seeing that. Yeah. <laughs> pay the yeah. man, pay the man. Yeah. Yeah. I, some but people, he's, cool though. I love him, he's the shit. Yeah. Um, but it's the same thing. It's like for, you know, as long as you show up every day and do the work doesn't matter for how long or for, you know, for how little, as, as long as you show up, put the effort as, as best as you can, 
um, then one day it'll happen for you. Yeah. And you have to believe in that, you know, but it's hard, like, especially now because, um, you know, everything is instant gratification. A lot of things are, I don't want to say everything. No, I don't definitely. like being definitive, but yeah. most things are instant gratification. So it's hard to, um, you know, put trust and put faith in the future like that. But this book really helped, um, you know, define those things in my mind and, and, and help me like just focus on, on, you know, those things. So like, I feel like that book would help you a lot. Yeah. And actually the, the whole, uh, instant gratification thing, that's definitely me because I'm an impatient person. Me too. Dude. So, um, something I've been wanting to talk about, but yeah. with the whole stoke and stroke thing, I think we went about it all the wrong way. As far as when we first started, I remember we had the talk where even if we didn't get like views and stuff, we would just keep it going if we didn't make money off of it. And yeah. that was a huge lie because <laughs> I'm not going to lie dude. Like when we posted yeah. stuff and I didn't get a certain amount of views or a certain amount of yeah. people commenting or a certain amount of people following us on Instagram, it kind of made me mad. Yeah. Because it was like, we're putting this stuff out. Why don't you guys like it? Like, why don't you guys watch it? Why don't yeah. you, why aren't you following us? Like, do you not like us? Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> and then it was just one of the things where I, I think if uh, I took a different approach to yeah. where it was like, no, I'm doing this because I, I want people, I want to make money off of it. I want to enjoy, yeah. I want to, you know, who doesn't want to, um, make money yeah. doing what they love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everyone else does it. Why can't we? And so, Definitely, like I lied for you from the beginning, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so just, it's probably my fault that this is not—it's not a thing no more. No, dude. But so that's how I am now. Yeah. So as soon as I post something, I'm a little whore. Like I want to see views. I want people to to like what I posted. Yeah. But I think as I've gotten older, I've started yeah. slowing down. So now I'm like, um, my mindset is just like the more I post, the more it's like you said, it, the just keep doing what you're doing, and eventually it's gonna get to that point. Yeah. And um. I think that's why I like listening to podcasts a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. And somehow they're big. And it's like, see, like I know about them. You don't. A lot of people that listen to podcasts might not, maybe not, yeah. might not know them, but they're huge because then they're, you know, they're reposting uh, fans from like England and shit. And it's like, how did it get there? And like, you just kind of watch because you see their first episodes and it's like, look at the views. The it wasn't a lot. The consistency. Yeah. And dude. now it's like, Dude, like everything is like it's it's getting there, and it was just like to me, it was just like they just kept posting. You just gotta show up every day, man. Just mm -hmm. do the work every single day. Yeah. Um, the social media thing, man. I I can I can attest to that as well, dude. And like for me, it, w it was really fucking me up. Yeah. Like even lately, it's really fucking with me because yeah. I, I feel like lately I'm like this lately, as in like this past week or two weeks, I've really been ever since I've been back in here it's helped me refocus and organize my, like I've had to be military strict, like military strict, dude. Mm -hmm. Like I wake the night before I have to write a, and this is for me to get just back focused. No, yeah. I have to, this is like my day, dude. I'm not even lying. I'll show you when, but I have to, the night before I had to literally plan my entire day and what I have to do. And if I get off of the track, if I get off track, then, you know, I just know this is the things I need to do. Mm -hmm. And it's, and I have to detail it. I put, uh, hydrate, stretch, coffee, and then even today I put like come here, pay bills. But I have to do that. Mm -hmm. And if I don't do those things, then I start. You know, those are the things I know I have to do in my head. And if I don't do that, they're gonna linger, and it's gonna make me feel anxious. Yeah. And I had to do those things. But um, sorry, that was a tangent from the real thing. But the yeah, the po pose around always. But like with the with the with the social media thing, dude, it was it was fucking me up because um, I was comparing like I'm the this is. M my worst, worst, like, I hate this about myself, yep. and I'm working on it, is the comparison thing. Always. Always I'm doing it, bro. But isn't it, ba isn't it sad that we compare ourselves to, like, famous people? I compare myself to, like, any, like, and I get, yes, most of the time. But because bro, it's like, yo, you're not there. But, like, I get to the most unhealthy, like, I know when I'm mentally unhealthy, when I see shit from my friends and I start getting resentful. Yeah. And I don't like to admit that shit, but it happens, bro. Like, mm -hmm. when I know I'm not, doing the best i can be like mentally yeah like i start getting resentful so then i started so then i had to say you know what that's why i started i picked that book back up i was like i need to refocus and it's not like a malicious mentality where it's like you know what fuck this person fuck yeah this it's person. not like you hate them no you just i wish to. you were like at their level yeah like more. i see you know when and it should be it's more it should be more of a positive energy but it's so interesting like that's why I, I try to be so aggressive with like the knowledge, like trying to obtain as much as I can because you essentially have more tools to understand yourself. Yeah. Because I know my brain is very, like everybody's is, but like for me, it is very hard for me to understand this thing, mm. especially being a creative, like it, it tears you. And you know, because you're very creative as well. That shit tears you in so many different pieces. And like, especially yeah. with the social media thing, like 
when we posted this mini, bro, um, it got so much love. Of course. And yeah. it didn't, it, but it, I had this expectation. It's the expectation thing, right? Mm. Yeah, I had all these expectations to like, I have a goal. Like Jared and I talked about goals and Keeks talked about goals of how many we want to get. And it doesn't hit that. And before I feel like maybe two weeks ago, I would have got resentful because, you know, I would have been angry that it's not doing that. But, Are you talking about like people just hitting you up like yo I want I want a photo shoot right away? Yeah, I want like I wanted that? a fuck ton of people. Yeah, and I still like, do. You wanted like a, but a list like yeah, right, they're all booked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know that means okay, how do we how do we creatively do that more and being happy, like positive, and enthusiastic about it rather than being like negative because you know you go online and you see like celebrities or somebody else and then you compare yourself you're like well fuck why does like you know yeah. why does that why does that person have that and blah 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 and it's hard man because it's like it's a constant adjustment and yeah. like it's almost like driving like yeah, it's like tiny little adjustments that you need to make and like that's why i had to do like stuff like i was saying like the list and mm -hmm. focusing on one thing because it was getting too busy yeah. and i and the, with the social media thing like i have to be strict about it like i forgot who i was talking to about it um i think it was car last week where my relationship with social media needed to be the same way it is with like anything else, like food, yeah. like with alcohol. Yeah, like, it should drive you crazy. It that you don't get like you don't eat a certain way or like you drink yeah. too much. Like it doesn't bother you. Yeah, but like social media stuff does. Yeah, like I like me personally, I can't go in casually to social media. I'll go nuts. I need to have an intention. I'm yeah. gonna post this and I'm out. Exactly. And then or I need to reply back to these messages and I'm out. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, because it is my business, like 100. Yeah. percent Yeah. So I need to leave. Like social media is no longer like uh what it used to be for me like you know it is like an expression like i can post my shit but it's no it mainly is my business so i need to treat it that way as far as like that is my restrictions on it like food like i said for food and anything else yeah and i don't know if that'll work for you but i, I had to do that man because it was driving me nuts and yeah. even now like last night i did some stupid ass shit i went down a rabbit hole with comparison i'm like and i went to sleep mad at myself mm -hmm. i was like why the fuck did i just do that yeah and I woke up and I, and but I went to sleep, I tried I put my phone down and I tried to do like a like a mental like a meditation thing where I just let that shit go and I'm like yeah. you're not that doesn't have has nothing to do with what you're trying to do right now yeah because that comparison shit man it it fucking kills me yeah and I I was like that with the whole social media thing I think social media thing um it fucking got to me when like I would post on the the podcast Instagram. And, like, just a simple, like, question, right? And, like, I'd get, like, 50-some people view it, but only, like, two people or, like, yeah. t five or ten people, like, actually vote on something. Yeah. And it's like, dude, like, why can't you all just do this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it yeah, would yeah, get yeah. to me. It's like, and, like, I got to the point where I was just like, man, fuck you. Like, yeah. you're not gonna you're not going to vote? All right, cool, I'm going to follow you. But I wouldn't do that. Yeah, but in you, my head, I'd get so to. pissed. It's like, dude, why, like, why can't you just... Like respond to it, you yeah, know. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, dude, I get it. Everyone has their own thing, and I catch myself when I was doing it. When people post polls or yeah. questions and stuff, like you asking a question, it's yeah. like oh, I don't have a question, so I'm just gonna skip it. Yeah. And I get that. But at the time, it was like that. And every time I post like uh, anything on like my story, not so much, but mainly on like if I make an actual post, yeah, I try to post it and then go to bed because I like to wake up and see like, oh, I have like a, however many likes or it's people like a Christmas commenting. Present, huh? Yeah, it's like oh yeah. shit, I have a comment or I have you know, and um. And that and that that's been getting to me. I'm not gonna say like it's gotten better, but it's definitely something like as I post it, I'm constantly checking it. You know what's important, dude, is this like talking about that stuff because this is so new for human beings and yeah. like for us and especially us that, you know, we have podcasts and we're trying to do them and we put stuff we people that make content put it out like this is like our relationship with social media, everybody's going to have a different relationship and everyone's going to treat it differently. But I feel like this conversation is so important because, you know, it's all about, I feel, you know, what's your intention going in and what's your expectation? Mm -hmm. Because if you, if you're going in truthfully, if you say you're going in casually, Oh, I just want to go look blah, blah, blah. like a hobby. Yeah. And yeah. then next thing you know, you're fucking pissed off because you saw something on social media. It's like, you understand that that shit's not real. Yeah. That like you understand yeah. like, you know, this stuff isn't real. And it happens like with me all the time. If me and my girlfriend got in like arguments about it, I'm like, you understand this is not a real world that you're upset about. Mm -hmm. This person never said anything to you. Even me, bro. Like I'll get pissed off about stuff. I'm like, why am I mad? And then I'll go to the gym and I'll carry that shit in my brain. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, dude, I'm fucking carrying all this baggage. Like, yeah, dude, I was like disgusting. that. Disgusting. Two days ago, I was at the. We, yeah. Um, and I, I hate it because it, it also affects my relationship to the point where yeah. like she knows something's wrong. So she's like, like, are you okay? Like, why do you look mad? Like, I went to the gym two days ago, and I knew she could tell. 
I knew other people probably noticed because I wasn't myself. Yeah. But I might like no one else knew, but in my head I was just so frustrated. And it's so stupid because it's just like out of nowhere I'll just be thinking of the podcast. I'm like, why why like why isn't it big? Why yeah, isn't no yeah. one viewing my thing? And it's like I'll be at the gym and same thing. I'm just there like I'm just, and I just like thinking go through the motions shit. and I'm like, I'm here at the gym, like it's supposed to make me feel better, but I'm still pissed off. Yeah. And every and I know people notice because I'm not like, hey, what's up? Like I'm not open and stuff. I'm not like giving people hugs. I'm just like, hey, what's up? And I just try to work out. Yeah, like Steven will come talk to me. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's cool. And I think Steven knows too. Like, like people that are close to me really do know when I'm not myself. And it pisses me off because when, when I go home, I'm like, I'll be showering. I'm like, I'm, I was really pissed today because I, you know, because this wasn't this or because the podcast wasn't as big as I thought yeah. it was going to be. Yeah. You know, especially like so many episodes in, I thought like, oh, it's going to be. But like, I mean, my thing is like a fucking, it goes up and then it goes down. Like yeah. I'll have like, a hundred and some views, and then I'll have like ten views, yeah, and it yeah. pisses me off. Like, why isn't it? Don't uh, look, man. Yeah, it's exactly. But it's so hard not to. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. I have the YouTube analytics. I'm always checking stuff. But when it's up there, like when it's oh, high, yeah. it's such a high. But you gotta, you gotta know when to cash out, dude. Yeah, because when it when it's high, you're just like, oh, I sh-, you know, I, I'm on, like, I'm on, I'm on it. Like, this is yeah. it. This is, this is gonna keep going. And then when it drops, you're just like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. how? Like, why is this? Yeah. yeah. I feel like us. We need to we need to focus on just the production and and being satisfied with the you know being happy with this mm-hmm. like making the thing less yeah. about how people are gonna react. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like at the moment when I'm making the podcast and I'm recording and stuff and I have a guest over, like it's the funnest time ever. Yeah, it's cool because it's something that it's gonna help me, but it's also some, you know a lot of people I get on they've never been on a podcast. Yeah, and it's so fun it's for exciting them. for them, and yeah. I want to make an exciting moment, and it's fun at the time. And then it, it's like you go through the whole hard work of editing the audio and then switching over and editing the video to match the audio. You do all this hard work that's yeah. like stressful just to get like five, ten views. And it's like the fuck? Like, but those and- five to ten people, bro, like, um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, you're good. No. Like, um, and I do the same thing. So this is kind of a little hypocritical, but maybe <clears throat> we're figuring this out together. We should hold hands. Is that. These five people are important, <laughs> and they really care about us, and yeah. they share work. Yeah. And they really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they really love our stuff, and those people know other people, and they share our stuff, and they just really love it. And I'm going to give them $1,000 when I get rich. I always think that. I don't know why, dude. I always <laughs> right think, here, baby. Dude, always, like, whenever I see, like, the same people watching my story, I same people viewing, or same people commenting, yeah. I'm like, yo, when I get fucking big, I'm going to give you $1,000 a month. Bro, and I don't know why. I don't know why I think that. I'm sure you have Because people- I want people that are like, damn, I should have watched it. I would have got $1,000. Fuck, I fucked up. I'm going to keep watching that. But that's, like, so bad of me, though. But no, no, no. I, you have good intentions. But, like, do you remember when we were doing Stoke and Stroke and, like, the reoccurring people that we always had? Yes. On the, like, like, Lady Le- Osa. Yeah. And, and C- Danielle. C- yeah, CC, yes, uh, like, moms. Yeah, you know, fucking who else? So many people, like, and not even like so many, like thousands, but like fifty, not even fifty, like maybe twenty five people. But dude, it's so fun. Yeah, and you think about too, like those are all people that we know. Those are people that would be at a carne asada. Yes, exactly. Those are people that, like, you know, and those are the people that you know. Not saying that other people don't matter, but like. Those people are important. Man. Yeah, and, and those are the people. Like when I do get big, it's like I remember you. I remember. I remember you. Yeah, I it's remember like you. yeah, and that's just how I am. Like I, um, like when it, it gets to that point, it's like don't worry, I'm, I'm not gonna forget about you because or, you were the ones that's like, well, they're still watching it, they're still commenting, they're still like they watch the whole episode. Guys. Yeah, and it's like, and they were there from the beginning, and they're still here now. And like, how many times do you hear like uh, celebrities, people that we admire, they're like, you know, I want to thank day like on my day ones yeah those are like our day you know who's a big day one for both of us hmm. sell really yeah i don't i don't think she even follows me <laughs> or maybe she does i don't know but she's gonna feel so dude or no no you know who, i'm sure she reps the shit out of yourself you know bro. who i she felt loves ba- you. you know who i felt bad so uh when you and Cara did the episode yeah uh, lady osa reposted it and was like all this stuff you feel bad she and no 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 not that just right away i was like she doesn't even follow me. Like, I could have swore I went through all my followers and didn't see her. And I was mad for a sec. Like, I even told Sad, I was like, Lady Osa, like, she doesn't even follow me. And she's like, what? Then, like, a couple weeks later, I found out, like, she did follow me. And she likes yeah. all my posts. And yeah. I was just salty for a moment because I was like, isn't that funny, bro? Even, like, the day ones don't follow me. Like, what's going on? <laughs> you know? What am I doing wrong? Yeah. And, like, yeah, do man. I not, do they not like me? Like, just keep doing your thing, man. It's bad, though. It is, man. But this is important. Yes, I like getting this out because this Me is too. things that have been in my head that, especially talking with you because you have a podcast, you have you yeah, feel the same way I feel. Because if I was talking about this with Sida, she'd be like, 
Why are you being like that? Like, that's Same, bro. stupid. I talk to Alexis about some stuff, and I feel like I'm fucking crazy. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, am I nuts? Yeah, like, you're like a little, like, teenage girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, you're just like, no, I want people to like me. I want people to think I'm yeah. funny. Like, all this stuff. It's a hard conversation, but, like, I don't know. I'm trying to learn, like, you know, especially having, uh, like, a girlfriend. Even my um, expectations of her experience with things, like, I can't expect her to think the same way I do. Yeah. Because it's easy for me to not do that with you, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Like, it's easier. Yeah. And it's harder in that because, it's like, <laughs> it's more easy. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, me either. Easier is a word. Yeah, I think it is. But it's it's more difficult to do that with her because like you're emotionally involved and like it would be cool to say you guys think the same but we don't no and that's not even a negative thing yeah. you know and like you know sometimes like especially in like relationships like you got to be careful who you tell shit about yeah because people fucking use that against you yeah exactly but um but for the most part man like uh for me like just that expectation of uh you know the other person's feeling like i can't expect her to think the same way i do or say exactly. the same shit that i do like she's yeah. her own person mm -hmm. and you know if anything and you almost like getting you almost like for the day you're mad at her because she doesn't understand what you yeah what's, and you're going on in your yeah. head and then you're you just start like saying crazy shit to yourself yeah. you're like oh man fuck maybe she doesn't believe in me maybe she yeah. doesn't <laughs> trust the process bro humans are fucking nuts it's, i hate it dude. i hate myself sometimes dude i'm like what the fuck dude and sometimes i think crazy shit and then like for me i have to write it because once it, it's the same thing that this is because like even saying it out loud yeah like sometimes i feel like i have like because like even when we before we had girlfriends, like we could say whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. You know, and like we don't have to think about anything, anybody's emotions, but like now it's not that you have to take a step back or anything. It's just you have to consider, you know, you're associated with this person as well. Yeah. So it's just a respect thing. It's not like anything else. It's just a respect thing. But like now, like for even for me, like it took me like about the year until like now to even just feel like, you know what, I can c pretty much still say whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. You know, as long as, you know, it's just respect, you know. Yeah. You don't want to say anything like negative, not negative, but exactly yeah, something yeah. shitty about yeah. a person. Because I wouldn't do that with anybody else. But because you're emotionally involved with some person, like you feel strongly yeah. and like you think crazy shit in your head. Because like, if a friend did something, you know, and you overreact a little bit, it's like okay, well, you know, it's not like you're gonna fucking marry that person or anything. Yeah, it's, it's true. just you know you can think about it and you spend like five days away from that person. Yeah, you're, you're not like, with What's them twenty four seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you're around somebody twenty four seven, it's like. Someone, you gotta take a step back or a breather before yeah. you fucking chop someone's head off. Before you say something, you're like, oh, she might see, she might hear this or see uh, this, yeah. or they might hear this, see this. But for the most part, dude, like, I don't know. I feel like I, I try my best to just say whatever I feel and you know, apologize later yeah. if I have to. I try to, man, but I'm not gonna lie. Like when people ask me what's wrong, I always say n nothing. No, I need even, to be more like I, that. And I'm always, I can, um, like, I like that. I, I know people that have never seen me mad. I know people. I, I, That's so sick, dude. I know there's people out there that have never seen me mad. They're always like, yeah. Like, or if I was ever to like freak out about something, they're like, whoa, I've never seen Jordan get like that. I'm glad that I, I, I can hold my stuff in. Yeah. And like hold and bottle my emotions, but at the same time, it gets to me later on in the day, when yeah. whether if I'm by myself or like we're at home and like she's just like, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing's fucking wrong. When clearly there is. Yeah. You know, and it's just like there's things that I just like I can't talk to you about this because you're gonna see it a different way. You're gonna you're gonna try to. What I hate is when people try to understand me because I know they don't. You know, like with you, yeah. we have somewhat the same issues. We can agree to disagree. Yeah. But it's like when, when you are talking to someone else and, and they're just not even doing what you're doing. Yeah. They're, they just don't get it. Yeah. And they, you're kind of like, it's a waste of time to even explain it to you because you don't, you're not doing what I'm doing. Yeah. So you wouldn't get it. Yeah. You wouldn't fucking get it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And honestly, too, like, I think that's fair to say, bro, because unless you're fully involved, and that's where, like, the respect comes in. You know, for those, like, because we, we, we have all those people that we talk to as well. Like, I mean, good example, like, Steven, we don't fucking have no idea what it's like to be in that guy's brain. Oh, man. At, in many aspects, you know, or any of our friends, for that matter. So for us to, you know, be like, oh, okay. And I and for me, it's like a filler word to be like, okay, I understand. Yeah. So even, like, with Alexa, I have to practice saying, like, okay, I don't under, I, I hear what you're saying. I will never understand. But I don't get the issue here. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't understand what you're saying. What's like, what's a big problem? Yeah, like, I don't get it. Yeah, no, it's just like the 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 respect to agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. Like you should, you know, that's that's the thing. Cause like, great, like I'm glad you said it. Like we're like best friends, but we don't agree on a lot of shit. Yeah, definitely. You know, and that's I kind of like that. 
you know, because then it makes me, it, and it requires me to think differently, but you never force me to think the way you do. Well, yeah, I've never, um, I get what you're saying. Like it, you got to picture yourself in, and you got to put yourself in their shoes. hundred percent. And I always do that like all the time. Like as soon as I'm like, like, why doesn't he think that's funny? It's like, I, I, sometimes I'll just be like, okay, well he's like this. So this is probably why he wants yeah. it's funny. Like uh, the things that make him laugh won't make me laugh. And yeah. so I always try to put myself in the other person's shoes and I feel like I do that, but a lot of people don't. Yeah. A lot You're of very good don't. at that. I'm yeah. not very good at that at times. I, I'm very, I'm good at that when it's convenient for me, and that's really fucking shitty for me to admit. But that's the reality. Is like it's very hard for me to do. When I realize that, it's when it's fucking too late. Always. I'm it always is. like, yeah, God yeah. damn it! Like it's yeah. too late. And then like when I feel like shit, I'm like, oh, now, that's why that person. That's yeah. Shit. That's why they're mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they're mad at me. That's funny. Uh, I know, man. It's a. It can be frustrating, but it's yeah. like I feel that way sometimes with like, um, like the design stuff, like in just the the like the stuff that I do. Sometimes I feel like very alone. I'm like fuck, because when I lived in Phoenix, dude, I was with my people, like not even with my people. I, I don't have people here, but like when I was in school, like I'm sure you can feel the same. Maybe maybe you feel the same way about like you know when you're in the military or something oh, like 100%. that. Like you know those are people that understand you at a different level, and mm-hmm. I feel like I carried a lot of that with me here, and it's a big part of like who I am yep. and then sometimes I feel like at times because I was I forgot who I was talking about it with but at times I feel like like crazy because I don't know understand to explain things and then I want like Alexis to understand or like people just to get it yeah but you know there's things that you know there's stuff that goes to my brain mm-hmm. and like when I'm designing something or things that take time that are almost unexplainable unless you've been through it yeah you know there's a reason why I do these things and people are like well why don't you just blah 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 and I'm like like you were saying, it's just, it's just easier if I just don't explain it. Yeah, you exactly. Because then you, you just get yourself more frustrated. Yeah. And I You're think, like, did you not just hear everything I just said? Yeah. Like, how do you, <laughs> do you not see the issue here? I think it's just easier for, and and then, but I can see like, even, but I can, now I can see the point where like, even just in my world, people feel that same way, but in their own life experiences. Yeah, exactly. So maybe I'm just failed to realize, it's hard, for, like, and I have empathy for people, yeah, you know, like I, like, but um, it's just hard to for me to realize like oh the same way I feel about that sort of thing about you know the way I think in school and it's hard for people to compare people can feel that way about like their childhoods or like blah 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 and, but fuck for me it's hard to like not understand somebody if they just don't talk yeah exactly I'm like you gotta talk bro yeah. otherwise people just not gonna fucking know what you're saying yeah what is it like a hungry mouth doesn't get fed is that what the I never heard that yeah, you, a hungry, you, wait hold on say is, it, is that how you said it say it again a hungry mouth never gets fed or something like that. Pretty much saying, like, like you, like, in your head, you're like, I'm fucking hungry. And then when uh, someone's not o- honestly, like, offering you food, it's like, how the fuck? I'm hungry. You know, it's like, unless you don't say anything. You can't expect not, people. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I know, man. That's like, and I, that's, and honestly. Or a closed mouth doesn't get fed. Something like that's that. Probably that's probably what it is. That's what it is. And that's a big sense. thing, that's a big reason for this potty, too, is like, because for me, like, I get frustrated if I can't, like, just play some mental gymnastics. Yeah. Like, just spitball for mm-hmm. a while. And like this because i leave these podcasts dude feeling so light i think that's why when we did stoked and stroked like mm-hmm. it was addicting it was because I, I felt so free after man and I, I looked and i looked forward to him because it was so exciting and it was just like i can yeah. get all this stuff out now yeah you know? yeah 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 and I, and I can't wait to for it to get posted and see what everyone else thinks yeah and i guess that's the fun part but not being attached to that part because mm-hmm. this is like the most important yeah. Like, just being here right now. And this is also, like, temporary. And this is also, like, super temporary. It's never going to happen again because the way time and space works is just totally never going to happen again, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But I don't know. I think I think we're mentally fucked up, but I think in time we're going to figure it out. We're all going to make it. Yeah. But even then, like, I, I think about just in the future, like, I, I'm, I'm worried because I know there's certain things about me that are still the same way when I was younger. And yeah. I'm, I'm worried that something like this is something that's just gonna follow me throughout life, and it's just and it's one of those things where you're just like, well, that's just you just got to deal with it, well, and like it, it to me, it's like I shouldn't have to deal with it. I should be able to get used to it. I should be able to learn how to deal with it, but I can't. And I'm patient with yourself. I know, right? But I, honestly, I I like it though. I like that my self does that to me, because then it, it pushes me to do certain things or it pushes me like. Hey guys, so sorry to cut in the middle of the podcast like this, but I just wanted to give some context. So my batteries in my audio recorder died, so we had to take a quick little break to put new batteries in. Um, But I just put new batteries in, and then Jordan and I just picked up 
uh, just picked up in another conversation. So enjoy. I don't what time I An got. hour? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe more. I don't know, dude. It doesn't matter. I just yeah, I enjoy this, so fuck it. I know that's a hard thing too. Is whenever I have uh, guests on, just want to keep going. Yeah, always. Or it, it's I see it with them too. Yeah. When I'll go to wrap it up, they're like, "Oh, we're done." Like uh-huh. I can tell they wanted to keep going. It's yeah. like, dude, like there's only so much we can put out, you know? Yeah, it's true. Until people are just like, "Okay, this is going on too long." Who you uh, Who you gonna have next? Um, do you know? I'm not sure. Um, do you know? <clears throat> no, nah, I don't. I don't know. Never mind. I don't know. I I, I definitely want to do you. I have like a whole list of dude, people. Dude, I'm so down. But I my thing is I'm I'm tired of holding the mics. And it sounds stupid, oh, but yeah. I don't want to do another episode if I have to hold the mics. I want to get these stands, that, so I might just have to order some. That is like uh, one of those things that they talk about the book, the art, the War of Art. Is like that is a that is like a like a, a mechanism for um, product. Like that's one thing that can stop you. Yeah. So don't let it. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah, and that's how I was for a while, um, especially. When I came back from the lake, mm-hmm. um, I didn't want to do an episode until the studio was set up. Yeah. I didn't want to do it until I had the sign from Keeks. Shout out to, yeah, uh, yeah. what is it, Keeks made? Ari Keeks made? Ari Keeks, yeah, show the cup, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this isn't mine. This is obviously Sida's, but mine's super dirty. But Keeks made is these dope-ass cups. That she makes cool. signs. She just made the Slob on the Pod sign that I'm going to have on that, that episode. That shit's cool. Uh, she showed it to me. So, like, a lot of that oh. stuff, a lot of that stuff, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to have, I didn't want to do an episode until... Everything was perfect because yeah. I didn't want to be like, okay, this is a studio, and then it's like as it like as it gradually as it goes up, it's like, oh, now he has mic stands, now he has a sign, now he, like I wanted to yeah. be like, boom, that's the show now. Yeah. So, but um, with when I had my brother Sky on, he came down and he's only here for a short time and he's so far away that I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do with what I got. Yeah. But I told myself the next one's gonna be mic stands, Keek sign. Yeah. Um, Everything, lighting, everything's going to be perfect, so... Just do it, man. Yeah, I know, I need to. Just do it, because, you know what, like, even me, I'm like, oh, I was waiting for another one. I'm like, oh, hasn't it been, like, a couple of weeks, but, mm-hmm. you know, I'm expecting it, man. Just yeah. get it out in the world. Yeah. Fuck it, even if it's like that. Yeah, I think I, I have I have guests, definitely. Um, I think it's just tough trying to find people's schedules. Like, I definitely want to do Steven, Yeah. and it's just like, I don't know when he can even fit this in. Yeah. Because I he's, know he's busy with the gym. Yeah. I mean, he... Even the weekends, he's busy with the gym where obviously he wants to spend time with his family. Yeah, that guy's got a lot going on. So I know um, I was trying to get with him this morning too, and it, it didn't happen. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, he uh, luckily he's been cool though. He's been like, "Yo, just let me know when or whatever." Yeah, but I know it's not that simple. No, yeah, especially yeah. not with him. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of other cool people you can talk to. No, there's there's a ton of people, and I'm just being I'm just being lazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like yeah. When like when it comes down to it, it's like I wish I just had someone just set everything up and I just go in and press record. Oh, bro, same. Like even like, oh, go ahead. It's just it's not as easy as just like, it's not that easy because you go in, you have to set up the lighting, you yes. gotta make sure all the batteries are charged, you gotta make sure you have all the SD cards backed up, you yeah. gotta have everything ready because at the same time, you know, time's valuable. So yeah, you, you bring a guest over and they're only expecting to be there like an hour or two and it goes way longer. Yeah, it's just like, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. You wanna, and then they yeah. like watch like this is just only an hour. Like what? <laughs> Like, I know. Where'd everything be? Like, <laughs> I know. But it's like most of the time it was me setting up or my camera overheating for some fucking reason. Yeah. The lighting, the batteries go out on the on the lights. Something happens. Something, dude. So, yeah. But I don't know. I think um, for the most part, everyone that comes over, they're real understanding. And they're just like, no, dude, like, do your thing. Like, they're really cool about it. Yeah. So no one's ever been like, yo, I need to get out of here soon. Yeah. And being rushed is like the, one of my biggest pet peeves. I know. Not on anyone, just on myself. Like, yeah. If anyone's just like rushing me to do something, something especially something that, like I enjoy to do, yeah. like well, this isn't fun anymore. Oh uh, yeah, because yeah. people are pushing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Like for, even for, yeah, same for this. Like, you know, I come in an hour before, or even this morning I came in before, and you know, yeah, same thing. I got to move this. I got to set that up, and you know, it's not just, and you know, it's not just you come in for the podcast for the hour or two. It's like another an hour before, and then when you leave here, I got to download all that footage. I have to put it up, make sure it's on there, you yeah. know, and make sure it's backed up. So when I go to edit it, or even if I don't edit it, like Cars last one, I got really enthusiastic about it because I wanted to get out and I edited yeah, it. Yeah, right you did that there. good. I was surprised um, did that fast. because, like, I saw you post about it, and then I think the next day it was out, and I was like, oh shit. Yeah, and it I totally caught me off surprise, but I was like, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, ideally I should be leaving time, but like my goal, like in my head, like I haven't really defined it, but I want to be able to do one every week and then get it out every Monday. So yep. then, yeah. So I have the weekend realistically to do it. Yeah, usually uh, Sundays was my ideal to get it out, but yeah. um, that's really tough when, especially because 
you might like uh, for me i mainly i don't record like i don't do the actual episode like live yeah on a certain day yeah but i no matter what like say if i do it monday I try to put it out on sunday even if i do it friday i try to yeah. have it done by sunday yeah but it's really a tough because things come up i mean this weekend i'm already packed with stuff like like parties and stuff oh yeah what are you doing uh well friday's yvette's birthday Saturday oh, okay. is Saida's mom's birthday, so we're having like a dinner for her. Nice. And I already know we're gonna be there all day, both days. Yeah. And then, um, so it's 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 like kind of tough, but I don't know. And it, it it drives me crazy when I can't fit in certain things. Yeah. When I'm like, especially when I know, because my thing is whenever I record, I don't know if you do this, but I record, I do, I upload everything, and then I leave it alone. And then my goal is the uh, next day to work on it. That way, because I know, like, it's still fresh in my mind. Like, the last thing I want to do is hear our conversation all over again. Oh, uh, yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. I I listen to the whole podcast when I edit. Yeah. I want to make sure I bleep out anything that needs to be bleeped out. Anything uh, that we talked about that they might say, hey, bleep that out. Like, I want to make sure I catch that. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, sometimes it's funny, though, when people are like, hey, bleep that out, and I don't. Because <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I just need to get it out, bro. Sorry. Yeah, because I know the viewers are probably like... He didn't believe that out. I heard everything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> said something savage. Yeah, I know. It's funny, dude. I know. And like the longest thing for me, honestly, is like making the highlight, even though it's an, a minute long, is I have to go through and listen to the whole thing. Yeah. And like find the funny parts or I just scrub through now and then there's some shit that I don't catch. Like there's a good part that I'll go back and somebody like will comment and be like, what about this part? I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. But it's like, bro, I got to get this thing out. Yeah, exactly. And I, that's the thing too. I try not to rush anything. Yeah. Because then when I rush it and then I end up watching it on YouTube later on, I'm like, fuck. Like, because I, well, I always watch it on YouTube because I know this is what everyone sees or this is what everyone yeah. hears. So I'm like, God damn. Like, I didn't do, like, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm going to post this right here. I'm going to put this up right here. Yeah. And I don't. Yeah. And it makes me mad. Oh. Because I'm like, I missed that. That was the hardest thing with Stoked and Stroke is that, like, we always we did always that. We always did But that. I like that. That was like a thing. And I, like, I've we'll put it right here. Yeah, yeah, we'll there. put it right here. And everyone's like, you never put anything right there. Maybe we should <laughs> test it and say we're going to put something right here. What are we going to put? Uh, we'll put the slob on the pot, my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm just kidding. Follow this link right here. <laughs> Let's see if I put it up. Yeah. But um, I'll probably do it now because there's pressure. I know, right? No, and that's my thing, too, is I don't have like a table. When I do mine, I just have couches and we just sit down. And so you, you see everything. So I don't like to have like a notebook or like my laptop with me. Uh, so, but my, my goal is to like have either me or like whoever's running the cameras just, yeah. hey, mark that. That way they can write down like yeah. at this minute. Go, that was, go to that. That was a nice thing about when we had stoked is I had, we had cell. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. She was a fucking savior, bro. I wish I had a cell here. Yeah. She was great. You know what is, um, I don't know if you know this kid. His name's Hector. Young kid. Yeah, she, he's, uh, I think so. He's like a, a video editor and stuff. Yeah. I don't, he's know been... I don't know, but he does stuff like that. And he's always hitting me up like, yo, let me produce your podcast and stuff. But it, it's really tough because it's like, my stuff's simple. So it's like, I know what I want already. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like if he can just do exactly what I want, then it'll be okay. But I know like... He wants to put his own touch on it, which I totally respect. Him being yeah, an yeah. artist, he want you know he wants to be able to put like that in his portfolio that he edited this and that's his touch. Does and he stuff. or does? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know. I had that conversation with him, but he's also like pretty young, so it's kind of tough to like. He might be like, "Yo, I'll let you," but it needs to be the way. Yeah, and it yeah. well also like, I know like with producing and stuff, um, it's one of those things where it's like you get mad, but you don't want to be mad because you're just like, and then you get to the point where you're just like, "I'm just gonna do it myself," because even when I have like Isaac running the camera and stuff. Like, he's always doing things that I don't really like. Oh, yeah. And so I'm just like, <laughs> can you stop? Yeah. So I'm just oh, can you We just need that? sail back for both yeah, of them. Exactly, because she just ran she was, smoothly. She was fucking great, man. Yeah. And maybe we can get her back. But in time, I don't know. The more, yeah, because yeah, when, like, and that's my thing, too, is I always, I always make excuses. It's like, maybe my podcast isn't like this because I don't have a million dollars to just hire people to come produce my shit for me. Yeah. But I, at, at the same time, it's like, but I think it's, I think, I hope people see this and they uh realize like we do everything yeah you know we we run the cameras we run the audio we do the conversation we edit everything yeah but like that's what also frustrates me is when you go through all that work just to get like a few views and you're just like do you yeah i put all that hard work in and yeah, you didn't yeah. see any of it but you gotta remember like you know we you know i don't know how why you started slob you know only you really know that but you know for even when we did stuff, or oh, you did admit that when we started stroke, you wanted you had different intentions. I had issues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like even now, like whatever you got to remember, you're just you're what the reason why you did it, and I only you know that. But like you know, I did this for this part, 
mm-hmm. you know? Because even if this didn't get in the world, I feel good today because I don't know if I'm going to die tomorrow, dude. Yeah. And today I'm just glad we did this. So yeah. if, you know, that's it. That's true. Power of Now, dude. It's another really good book. Yeah. We got a li- Oh, wait. That's a book? That's I, a book. You, I was like, that's, that's some strong words. But it, it's I thought a- you were trying to get like live in the now. It, that's exactly Which I what tried the bu- to, yeah. That's what exactly what it is. It's uh, you know, especially when things get tricky and things are getting really like frustrating, like all you can control is like right now. I had to do that all the fucking time. It's yeah. like a constant adjustment. Yeah. And, and I it, feel crazy. It's hard to live in the now when you've lived twenty seven years long and it's like, Well, I haven't died yet, so why would I die tomorrow? You know, it's <laughs> yeah, really yeah. tough to see that. I made it this far. <laughs> yeah, I made it this far. Would, you know, why yeah. can't I just have a lazy day where I don't do anything? You know, but yeah. And uh I was watching um, Lords of Dogtown the other day, and uh, you know the, he and it, I mean it's a it's a you know uh, documentary not documentary but like a yeah a movie about something that's actually really happened, and he you know he says it he's like skate every day like it's your last and it's like that's true yeah. every day and like when when they were younger you know you can see like wh- how they grew up and stuff like obviously you had to because you knew like they were in that situation where you know I might not be here tomorrow you yeah know? and um, but after I watched that movie I was like. It's so stupid, too, because you watch movies like that that, like, when they say something, it's so cheesy, but it's, like, that's so true. Yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, like um, at night when you go to bed, like, can you, like, go to bed and think, like, today was a good day. Today I, I did everything that I wanted to do. I lived, like, a, a full life today. Yeah. If tomorrow I passed, would I be happy with that, you know? Yeah. It's really hard to think like that. And so when you have, like... Certain days where you just were lazy, you didn't go to the gym and you didn't do anything, you just watched TV all day or slept in. It's like I just wasted a day. Like if I pass tomorrow, yeah, the day before was for nothing. The day before I didn't do anything. Yeah, unless you were legit resting. Yeah, unless your unless intention. like you've been living your life and you're just yeah, like, oh, yeah. I need one day before I'm actually before. gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die because of myself. <laughs> yeah, man. We all in all, man, we're lucky to do. We're lucky to be able to do stuff like this. Yeah, true. Because the fact the the fact that you even have the ability and you have the knowledge to produce a podcast is huge. Yeah. Like, and you've learned by yourself. Yeah. You gotta I, think. Yeah. You gotta remind yourself of that, dude. You taught yourself how to do all that shit. Yeah. You have no prior knowledge of any of that. Yeah. Sounds good. Looks good. And you get it out. Thank and you. it's good, dude. I appreciate that. You gotta give yourself a pat on the back, dude. Yeah. I, and I do. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes I'm I'm kind of selfish and I'm like, just like yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, I did this. You like, should. I edited this video. I, I put should. it in audio, and, and then I put it out on YouTube, and it uploaded. And that's the thing, too. Anytime anything uploads perfectly, and I have no issues, I'm yes. like, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. First try. Yeah. You know? Yeah. First try. <laughs> First, try. <laughs> First try. And um, so I, I do. I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, when I post it, I'm just, I'm proud of myself. You should be. And I don't, I don't, and I don't tell anyone. I'm just like, I did it. Fuck yeah. yeah, and it's funny because, you know, just like uh, we were talking about, everyone doesn't do what we do. So they don't get the excitement. Of us, like, okay, you just uploaded a video, cool. Yeah. But it's like, you don't get it. Like, there's times where this shit doesn't upload. There's times where this shit crashes. There's still, yeah. Like, you know, your computer goes to sleep and it doesn't finish it. Like, there's so many things that can go wrong. So yeah. when it goes right the first time, it's just like a little victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even after the fucking three hours it takes to upload. Yeah. You're like, finally! Yeah. <laughs> or when you, yeah, dude, I've had so many times where I'm like editing shit and it just like... I'll be like, I'm going to go eat some food and come back and finish it. And Fails. I come back and all the videos are gone or everything's like black. And I'm like, like what God, the fuck just God. happened? <laughs> Dude, and I, I get so pissed off. Safe. And then right away, I'm like, if I had a producer, this wouldn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If but I had money, if I had a bunch of dollars, <laughs> this wouldn't happen. I know, bro. I say the same thing. I was telling Jared, I was going to, uh, one of our, uh, we use Josh to like help us sh- like shoot videos and photos for like weddings and stuff. And I was like, I'm just going to have Josh come in. And then Jared had a conversation with me about like, how much are you going to spend on blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my God, here we go again with Jared. Yeah. Trying to explain money to me. And then I was like, I'll just fucking do it myself. I'll yeah. just keep doing it by myself until I get the financial ability to, uh, you know, give that. Because I don't want fucking somebody sitting back there for free, bro. Because Jared's like, uh, yeah. Because Jared's like, I'll do it. I was like, Jared, you really going to do it? He's like, I don't want to make, I was like, in my head, I'm like, I told, one, I told him too, I was like, I don't want to make you do it, dude. Yeah. Because I don't, A, I'm going to become resentful if you can't fucking do it when I want. Exactly. And that's the reality. Yeah, I like, didn't tell him that, but. Yeah. No, 100%. Because you got to think, like, you got, uh, it goes from just you having your free time, and you yeah. got to schedule someone else's free time, and you got to schedule Jared's free time. It's yeah. like, if you, and like, say, like, some guest you're trying to get in, you finally get him in, and Jared can't, you're just like, yo, fuck, dude, come, come on, on. This bro. is like, yeah, you know, yeah, I've been yeah. trying to get this. But yeah. you don't want that to happen. Cause I don't want to have to do that. Yeah, yeah. it's just, when it's just you. And that's why, like, 
you know, saying that out loud is good for us to understand because, you know, we say that to somebody else and they're like, you're a dick. It's like, no, yeah. it's not that easy Pre-Madonna. to just say. Yeah, it's not that yeah. easy to say. Because, like, yes, some of that is correct. Some of that is very much prima donna ish. But the reality of the situation is, is that, yes, you could finally get scheduled with that guest that you wanted and then your producer can't show up. It's like, well, then I'm just going to do it myself. Yeah, exactly. And which is totally fine. And, and we shouldn't it, be resentful. It pisses me off when I do it by myself and I'm like, I don't fucking need you. <laughs> but then you it's like cocky. yeah fucking but yeah, then yeah. it's like it would be like a lot better if you were here because yeah. like i said the last one with sky like when isaac couldn't come over i was just like well i can do it myself and i, and I did it i didn't yeah. like the way it came out because it was just uh, constantly me running across the camera to go press record and running back yeah and i was like this isn't professional at all you know what i used to love about uh stoked and stroke is when we used to have like crowds yeah that was so much dude it was it was like it was like a was like it, a live audience it was like a party yeah, yeah. it was like a live it audience. was so cool because i remember the like there was times where it would be like just sell and there'd be times we sell and um, niz and niz and then there'd be yeah. times where like um like inside it would come over yeah. and like or alexis was there that one and time would, yeah we would just look that's a lost episode yeah <laughs> you just smoke everywhere <laughs> Oh man, yeah, we should. It. I don't. I have to go back and find that. You, it's probably gone, dude. No, no that's that's the one that got deleted. It did. It was gone. Mm-hmm. Oh and man, and it's so. And I'm not gonna lie, I was so resentful towards you because <laughs> I was like, how the fuck do you just lose shit? How the fuck does that happen? You you upload it, it's there. Unless you press the delete button, it's not gone. But then I've had my own battles where, like, <gasps> like go. audio will go missing or something. I'm like, where the f- what did I do? Now you know. And so now I know. So now I'm like, fuck, I feel so bad. Because even at the <sighs> time, I remember, like, I was like, telling, like, how do you miss? How do you, how does he lose stuff? How do you, you know what I'm saying? It's not a, it's not a physical object. It's yeah. something that's saved on a disc. It's in your computer. Where else could it be? What the fuck? Do you, you, you left know it in what happened? Car? Like, yeah. Is I had this and I, we did another podcast and you I formatted, formatted it. Yeah. And I was like, Dude, that's why every episode, as soon as I'm done, no matter what's going on, I go, upload it, put it in its own little folder, and I know it's there, and I'll, yeah. I'll even like play a few little clips, and I'll play some audio, like, okay, it's all there. You're smart. And, and then I don't even format it until... The next one. Until the next one. Yeah. When I'm setting up, I'll make sure, okay, I'm like, okay, I'll go through my computer. If it's all there, and I don't need to re-upload it again, yeah. then I format it. Smart. And then at that point, I'm just like, fuck it. If it if it somehow something happens, it just wasn't meant but to be. But at least you knew you did what you and had yes. to do. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm like, I did everything, you know? Yeah. I guess fucking, <laughs> it's just the the fucking computer guys these were are, like, no, this shouldn't go out. These are, these are things we can't tell our girlfriends because then they think we're fucking. Yeah, exactly. We're because nuts. all they're going to say is like, just get them over and record another one. It's like, it doesn't work that way. We had magic the first time. You don't get it. You can't, yeah. <laughs> like 100%. every time I do an episode and it comes out good, I'm just like, that was like a, a beginner's luck for me every time. Uh, I can't redo this again <laughs> yeah, yeah. because the next time I'm going to be like, oh, what, was, what, what did we talk about in that last one that was good? And it's just going to be shitty. It's going to be too, it's gonna, you're going to tell we're trying too hard. <laughs> you have a process down now though, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, you got it locked in, dude. Yeah, so. And even your editing. Even, I even, I got so excited when I started seeing like animations. Who did the animation for the slob? Uh, well, actually, so shout out to uh, Manny. Molina. Manny did that? Well, no, no, he didn't. So yeah, sort of in a way. Um, he had he had seen obviously dude I'm telling you he's like a day one he's always watching my shit always commenting Shout on YouTube follows me everything and um, there was times where like he would post his little videos of like you know when he would talk about his shoes or like his unboxing and stuff yeah and I would see like little animations and he had seen an episode he's like dude it'd be dope if you could put this and this and I'm like I don't know how like yeah. this is this is all I got and he figured it and out and he's right? like oh well he's like I use he's like do you use iMovie I'm like yeah he's like you can do this and then he showed me he literally was like record. His computer oh. while he was doing step by step, and I got it from there. It's and an iMovie animation. Yeah, no, nice. it's, it's uh, well, actually, no, my bad. It's um, I think it's Keynote. Oh, okay. And or whatever and one that does the animation. You. Yeah, and you can like do you do like type stuff or you upload an image, and you can do the settings where it fades away or like gets drawn out, which is what I I Love have. It. And um, he was like, oh, all you gotta do is you know do that, make it on a green screen, and then you upload it to iMovie, and you can switch it to uh green screen on screen or on screen on screen or something and uh he's like anything green is gonna go away whatever is oh. not green is gonna stay on your on your thing that's so cool so man. i was like oh shit so now i do when i when i first did that i was like yo this is big production <laughs> i'm in i'm waiting for netflix or <laughs> someone to hit me up and yeah like edit some shit for them <laughs> let's make a documentary dude i'm telling you so and that and that goes back to something like that was at the time was extravagant to me but now yeah. it's just something simple because i just click and drag because it's all set up right that's why it's so important Go so ahead. that's why now like you know with this um 
this guy Hector, like I yeah. wanted to do my stuff, and I'm like, it's real simple. Like I don't really need help. Yeah, it would be dope because it would take, you know, some stress off me. But yeah, at the same time, it's like I I can do it myself. Maybe give him a test run. Yeah, and, and dude, oh, I love this kid so much. Because he always is just like, dude, just let me do one, and then like, if you don't like it, like, you don't have to pay me. Oh, bro, there you go. And but I, oh, like, but you have to pay him for the ones after. Well, no, it's just like if if I like it, it's like I like it, but it's just I don't know, man. That's yeah. the thing too is, and it, it sucks because I'm like, well, how much would you charge? And he's just like, like, how about you let me edit and you pay me whatever you think? And I'm like, that's not, that's so bad. I hate when people don't. Oh, I hate when people hard. do that because it's like. I don't want to un un what is it under under like undervalue value. or undermine his yeah. yeah and he's like I'm way you know way more than that but the problem with that is that when he starts getting good mm-hmm. and you know this is he may not be this way but the problem with that is that one day he can get to the point where he realizes how good he is and you're still paying him ten dollars an episode yeah and he's like I want more money it's like mm. <laughs> You know, yeah. yeah, sure, but you know, it's got to be. That's see, that's the thing with creatives too, because I've been in that position many times. Exactly, is I start, you start at something, and then you you get better, and your yeah. value's better. And if the financials are there, then yeah, sure. But if they're not, bro, yeah. But and, then that's when people leave, and and grow. that's the thing too is I can see being the customer and being like, yo, when you first started, you're only charging me like ten bucks for a photo session. Yeah, now fuck? it's like eighty bucks for thirty minutes, like all this stuff. Yeah, and <laughs> very <laughs> very direct. <laughs> but no, no, like I, I but it, I see it. Yeah. yeah, I see your value and I see the things you do, and I know the process. I'm like, that's eighty bucks. That's worth it, or oh, whatever yeah. you guys charge. That's worth it. So it's like other people they'll be like, well, the, you know, two years ago when you did them, they weren't this price. Oh, it and it's like, all the time. yeah, and it's hard to explain to them like, well, I've gotten better, and I know that this is better, yeah. you know, uh, product. You're getting more. Yeah, but um, and it's easier to get newer people in because yeah. they're like, okay, like okay, yeah, and, you know. It, that's not bad, you know. Maybe they someone else was like charging way more. Yeah. But like for those people that have been there from the beginning, it, I'm like that too. Like yeah. if I ever was to charge for anything like that, I'd be like, uh, well, you know, I've always charged you this, so why? You know, I'm not gonna charge you anymore. I know it's tough. Even dude. if I got better, like you were there. So I know it's tough because like I like recently I've had a you know up my stuff, and for some people like some OGs, it depends like um like people that have been there since day one. Like mm. I do cut them a little deal. But I, I try not to do it too much, too, because and even recently, like, I'm just, like, have to charge everybody the same because, A, I don't want the new people to feel, like, yo, know, well, you know, left out or secluded mm-hmm. or excluded, sorry. And, you know, but I, and I have to keep it fair because yeah. I don't want to play favorites. And th- at the end of the day, bro, like, you know, it is that. Like, your value gets higher and either they can stay with you and, you know, and I try not to jump my prices too hard. Um, but I, I try my best to explain why. Mm-hmm. Because for me, like, I had to explain, like, okay, this is why, this is why. And I don't make too big of jumps. If anything, I change the the packages up a little bit. But yeah. I, you had to sweeten the deal. You have to explain because people feel so uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Especially with me with, like, logo design, I have to explain to people, like, why it's so much. Yeah. It's time, really. Ex- that's that's mainly the, the number one thing is time. Like, and me knowing you and how busy oh, yeah. you are and all the projects you have going on, like, if you're, if I'm able to get you... If I'm able to get some of your time to edit uh, in logo or something for me or a, f- a photo, a photograph for me that I know is yeah. gonna look amazing, then then I get it. But I can see how a lot of people wouldn't. They'd be like, "What are you, what are you talking about? Like I'm paying you money, you should do mine." Yeah, you but should. it's like, yeah, but you know, the money you're paying, yeah, is like, you know, not not it's not like valued towards my time. Yeah, and yeah. you're getting paid. You also pay for you know a spot. Like, there's a priority. Like, for me, I have a list. Mm -hmm. Like, there's people that pay me all up front, and then their top, their priority, and then there's people that pay. You know, everybody pays me. Yeah. And they're, but they're just, it's in the list. Like, Mm -hmm. I can't jump you in the line because I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want to undermine this person. And, you know, you're going to, you're going to get done. It's mm-hmm. going to get done. It's just, you know, uh, but sometimes, you know, Jared and I were talking about this. Sometimes you do work on a project and you get really fucking hyped on it. Yeah. You're like, oh, I have to, I want to do it now. Yeah. And then you get it done real fast and then there's some stuff that's like real hard, but it's just, it's just a, you know, it's a balancing act trying to figure it out. Yeah. And there's I, no figuring it out, but. Yeah. And I always wondered about that, like, uh, um, being fair, like with, uh, like my brother Sky, he's up and doing like his stuff, like taking yeah. pictures down and stuff. And he's already got prices up for his stuff. And, I, and, like, in my mind, like, I think about him. I think about you. I think about Jared. It's, like, how do you know what to price things at? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how do you know? Like, is there a website you go to? Like, all yeah. these photographers are paying this much, so I should yeah. charge this much? Like, I don't know. I haven't talked to other – like, I used to talk about it more, like, uh, when when I was trying to establish it. But I, I've had, like, the same – I think every year 
for the last. I think I've only went up five, like five bucks the last year, because mm-hmm. my hourly my hourly rate started at like thirty five, mm-hmm. and then every year it kind of went up by like five bucks. Mm-hmm. So now it's at sixty five. But that's because it's not. I don't just do a photo, or I don't just do one thing. I have many things that I have to do. So that allocates to the time because the not everything is like. I don't just do photos, so everything takes four hours. Yeah. Everything is jumbled in. So I have to, you know, the time slots that everything moves is different. So for me, since my overhead isn't too crazy, you know, I have to, I like, I take everything that I, I take all my bills, mm. add it up, take it into consideration. And that's how I determine the value of like what, you know, I'm doing along. Oh yeah. And the, not only the bills total, but like how long those things take me. Okay. So then I try to put that, I try to, I like, I, as I write it down, it, 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 it looks, it's, it's, I understand it better, but I take all my bills. I take all the services that I have out of how much all those things take. And then it helps me add like a time on it. Mm-hmm. So then for like things that I do on the regular. So like for photo shoots, people have like, people will hit me up for like, Hey, I need, um, I need a, I want to do portraits. So I have a standard package for portraits because yeah. it's usually the same. Mm-hmm. If somebody's like, Hey, can you come shoot my birthday party? You know, it's pretty simple. They just want me to go shoot. So then I have a certain thing for that. Something I've never done. It's like, okay, well, here's my hourly rate. I don't know how much it'll cost, but this is what I think we can start. And then if it goes more, we can go from there. Yeah. And then um, same thing with logos. Like right now, like I'm trying to, that one's being like tinkered with. So, yeah. you know, each one's different. So like, but everybody that I talk to that wants to work for me um, lately, if it's not just, if it's not just photography, um, like portraits mm. uh, or like something like this it's standard like you get 30 minutes you get 10 photos five extra after like pretty simple um I, it's a conversation so it's like you know you come in you tell me a little bit about you know especially a logo like a lot of people ask you for logos like okay you want a logo come in we'll have a conversation and usually it's never just a logo somebody needs you know stickers package designs blah 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 and i love that yeah so then from there i'll go and be like okay well you're gonna need x y and z blah blah this will take this long blah blah, blah. and then at times it by 65 an hour and then this is how much it'll be oh, okay. so then i'm not undermining me because mm-hmm. i know my overhead yeah and i know the bills i have to pay and you know my time and everything so this is this is what it'll be and people say no they say no yeah but honestly most of the time people are really cool yeah i can only imagine because i mean i think they see the value or they see the uh the 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 quality you put out yeah and they're like okay well i want that so i'm gonna pay for it. it's the same thing with like a tattoo appreciate that yeah. you know what i'm saying like you 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 People want. <laughs> Something happened. Oh hey, no! I don't wonder how long it's been on. Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna be a black screen now. Oh, it is a black screen. Might have been. We might be getting two hours here. Holy shit! Two fifty-two. Yeah, it's probably about two hours. Oh, it's the card store. see like because i think it's on youtube analytics where it'll show you like oh yeah, this was still rolling one thing that uh pissed me off was like on youtube analytics is i'll go back and look and it pisses me off when i see like people only watch it for like 30 seconds oh. 30 <laughs> minutes i'm like you motherfuckers why am yes. i editing this giant thing then <laughs> but i learned that that just that just um it tells you when like say someone first plays it and they stop it you got to remember there's people oh. that stop it maybe like they I'm like, oh, I have like a few minutes in my day. I'm gonna yeah. watch some of it. I'm gonna go back to it later. Uh, they don't put that into consideration. Yes. I never thought about that. Yeah, so that's that's what got me too. Because I would see that and it would be like uh, what the fuck? watch time duration or something. Yeah, and it'd be like six minutes or whatever. And it's like, yeah. why the fuck am I putting out like an hour? Anyway? And that's what it would get to me is I'm like, and it would piss me off because when I have guests on and I know they want to continue talking about stuff. Yeah, and in my mind I'm thinking like this is way too long. No one's gonna watch it. But I remembered like yeah, people do finish them. I never thought about that. Mm-hmm. Um. That's so funny because then you could be in the middle of a, a a conversation with your guests and it's like two hours in. It's like nobody's listening right now. Yeah. Better. And that's what, you, and yeah, in my mind, I'm thinking like, like we've gone too long. No one's even gotten this far. <laughs> You're like, we should just end it. Yeah. But then I got to remember like, there are people that they, they just, because I do the same thing. Like, yeah. do you ever watch a Joe Rogan podcast three hours straight the whole time continuously? No, I always deposit. Exactly. You, you like, and I, I mainly, 
I like to uh, listen to them more than I like to watch them on YouTube because I really don't have time like that. Yeah. Because there's times I'd rather watch like a TV show or a movie or something, especially yeah. when it's like the last hour of my night before I go to bed. Uh. So um, the times I w- listen to my podcasts is on the road. Like uh. even if I go from like here to the gas station and those like five minutes, I, I listen to them. Yeah, same. So when I – so and I don't finish them all of you all the way through, so I'll listen to it, go home, do some stuff. Yeah. And like I – for the most part, I have a pretty good memory where I've left off because yeah. I'll hear like, oh, this is what they were talking about before. Yeah, it picks you up. And I, just, and I just keep going. And so I just like to think that's what they do with mine. Yeah, that's yeah. what I like to think, but I don't yeah. know. I could be wrong. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, I was going to say, I forgot what I was going to say. I hate that part when I have that. What? When you have that like, you don't know where to continue. After yeah, that, yeah, Or yeah. What, you, you know you had something in your head. Remember you used to get mad at me? <laughs> hmm? Remember we used to argue about, not argue, but we used to get into like, when, uh, like when we would have to talk because i'm like i remember like for me well we would we would we would talk about not argue we would talk about how it was hard to like pause we would talk over each other all the time oh yeah why did i do this like we were touching dicks <laughs> we would talk over each other all the time mm-hmm. and i was it was hard because like you were explaining like it, you had to get a thought out yeah and i was like yeah dude that's like the hardest part mm-hmm. but dude i was gonna say you're really good at it now dude I, I, i'm um getting better just because i remember we did an episode where um you talked about how just the more you did these, the more like your conversations with people just in general, like out in public were way better because yeah. you learned so many things about talking with other people. And that's what it's been for me. Nice. I've, I've done enough episodes to know not to talk over people. If And I, I get it. Not everyone's done a podcast. So if they start talking over me, I know to stop. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I'm able to like keep it in my mind and uh, and still hear their conversation to yeah. the point where it's not just like, Oh, yeah, going back to what you first said, like, I totally heard everything you said, and we can have that talk, talk, and then I can throw my two cents in that I remembered from way before. Yeah. But I think just doing it repetitively has gotten, has made me way better at, like, a, a like a listener and, like, a conversation, yeah. like, having a conversation with people. Yeah, because if you're trying to make a point, that's different, you know? And it's funny because Alexis is like that. Like, she will not listen to anything that I'm oh, saying yeah. because she has something in her head. She's like, but I'm going to forget what I was going to say. And I was like, well, then why am I even saying what exactly. I was going to say? No, dude, I, it's like that with Sida, too. Like, same thing. Like, we'll be having conversations. And she does it all like i've called her out on it her brothers her parents you had no idea she, what i just said huh? like i can talk to her and she and she'll just be talking about something I'm like wait what are you talking about and she's like oh i had this idea of this i'm like wait did you just any did you hear anything i just said before or she likes to talk over me and i get so mad like no lie and she she's cool about it she's like you know she's a trooper so like yeah, if yeah. we're talking about it and i'll be like can i finish what i was gonna say can i finish and she'll yeah, be like yeah. i'm sorry i'm sorry like go ahead go ahead Oh, that's but nice. I know that anything I'm saying after that, she's not listening because she's <laughs> trying to remember. And but I go back to I used to be that way. We used to be that yeah, way. Yeah, you know. It takes and practice. So, mm-hmm. And so this has definitely helped. I know. I need to be more patient with her. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I get so mad at her. I'm like, can you just fucking listen? Yeah. And nah, it was yeah, good. sometimes, dude, I'm 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 brutal. I'll just be like, can you shut up? <laughs> Like, I was still talking. I still had something to say. And she's like, you're right. You're, and she's cool about it. She's like, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, like, I, I'm glad that she could just be like, you can't. Don't talk to me like that. She's like, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. That's so funny. And at the time, I then I feel bad. Yeah. I'm like, she bad. understands and I feel like a douchebag now. It's practice, bro. The, having a conversation is just like a dance, bro. Like, you can't go to the crest and just fucking grab somebody and shit. Yeah. I mean, some, it works like, for some Like, someone people. can't just fucking do bachata and someone just twerking at the same time. Like, it just doesn't work. Yeah, you got to, like, you got to be in sync. You got to be on the same page. And you got to be able to let someone take over if, you know. Yeah, you got to let go a little bit, dude. Yeah, you got to let somebody grab your hips and take it over, dude. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was going to do this sick ass spin, but all right, we'll do your <laughs> fucking dance, I guess. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> exactly. Bro, that's okay. I'm telling you. I was going to do this sick ass spin. No, bro, that's exactly what it was like. He's like, okay, well, I, I kind of planned on doing this. but I had this cool ass story, but I'm probably going to forget. Go After ahead, you tell me your dumb ass story. What the fuck? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> See, hang, like hanging out with you and having these conversations with you, I started to think, am I an artist too? Am I? <laughs> you are. Am I Eric Castanios yet? <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun. Dude, I am so glad that caught on. I did it one time and you, it just became a thing. You made it so... And dude, I did my acai bowl and I was like... My, and then it just... Dude, it just went off. Bro, people were gassing me for the randomish, the most random shit. You're like, do I even do that? Like, what is I, that? Yeah, is that I me? Really got, I, there was like the acai, holding shit that way. Mm-hmm. Like with the arm, yeah, that was a big one. I don't think it happens anymore. It happened like uh, Betty did. My friend Betty did one, like not too long ago, and I thought that was funny. But yeah. uh, I forget people were starting to do it for dumb shit. I do it. I do it to troll people now. Like, um, 
like randomly like I I've, I haven't done it in a long time, but I've done where like I'll post like a workout video or like me working out. I'm like, am I am I uh, at full standeth yet? <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah. or if I go to the gun range, am I uh, at fucking Steven? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because like that's just what they do. But yeah, it, yeah. I, I know some people get butt hurt though. That's so stupid. I can see man. where people get butt hurt, but I'm just like, I no, think it's, dude, like, bro, that's isn't that not that's what your, you do? That's your thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Am I making stuff up? Like no. Yeah, we've all seen it. I know, and I yeah, because I, I thought it was so funny. Bro. I did it. I, I thought oh, it was flattering. The last time I did that. Uh, was when Chris came up and worked at the lake with me and yeah. he brought his bow and we were shooting the bow. Oh. <laughs> and I, dude, I added everybody, everybody that ever posted of, like, I added Jake. The whole fucking everybody. everybody. I was like, am I da 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 yet? Bro, it's so funny that, like, right now, now everybody's on guns. I can't keep up. Yeah, I want to. It's too expensive, so bro. Bad. I know. Well, me and Chris were talking about that. Like, it's too expensive. We were, like, somewhat, like, butt hurt, but we were also like, how do they have all the money to get all, the, like, we know no, ammo bro. isn't cheap. I'm, like, this close to just, like, and it feels, and it's shitty to say. And I never had this conversation with them, so it's probably the first time they hear it. Mm. Like, I'm like this close to just I want to be out. Like, I feel like not good enough. No, I'm like, yeah. okay, well, I don't have money. Like, because they're always like, and the, even we have a group chat, and they're always talking about guns or like, oh, like they just restocked on ammo here. I'm like, bro, I can barely fucking afford, you know. And I feel like an idiot. Yeah. Because I'm like, okay, I can barely afford a box to even go out there. Mm -hmm. And here is everybody with like eight guns, and I can barely afford fucking a box of nine mil. Like, bro, I'm I don't got it like that. Yeah. And then I feel dumb, so I'm just like, I just don't even want to be a part of this. But then yeah. I'm like, that's so stupid. Just go out and hang out. Yeah. But then I also feel like the little kid that everybody needs to fucking take care of. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, do you, do you we have to give them something to do? Do you want to shoot my gun? Yeah. Or like, and I'm like, I don't fucking. I feel pity. Like, I'm yeah. like, I don't fucking like that. That's why. Yeah. Like even. Um, I've had uh, some of my cousins, they go, like, dove hunting and stuff, and they'll invite me out. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't, like, it, it's kind of like, I don't have my own gun. So it's yeah. just like, all right, you want to shoot now? Yeah. Like, we're, like, little yeah. kids, like, taking, you know, going yeah. back and forth on the controller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I guess, like, after being out there, like, many times and, like, having, you know, taking my own ammo and doing that shit and, like, being able to pay for it, like, financially right now, I'm just, like, in a rut so i'm like i just can't go right now yeah. so i got cool with it it was all in my head i'm like okay well i'm just not gonna go as yeah. much or I'll, if i go i'll just hang out and like just don't feel that stupid pity that you feel like it's fucking all good yeah you don't have to go out there and shoot as much as you don't have to go and do what they're doing you can go and hang out if you want yeah i just dumb that like because of that i felt like not a part of it anymore i'm like oh because i don't have like 18 guns i'm not a part of this because dude they fucking buy guns like every goddamn week yeah and guns, or, like new guns attachments. are expensive Bro, and dude. then the attachments and all this crazy shit and like there's all the accessories i'm like I don't know if I can financially keep up with you guys in this, so yeah. I'm I don't know if I'm in anymore. Yeah. So I was like, I just didn't feel part of the club anymore, which is all in my head. Because at least with the bow, it's just like you get new arrows or you get like you know yeah or whatever. It's like the same shit. Yeah. It's like the same shit. No, yeah, I um I was like like I I was like that for a while when I'd see everyone like going out to the range and stuff, and I'm like, dude, yeah. like and like especially going from the military and going to the range every day and like obviously the government oh, giving yeah. you money to like shoot. It yeah. was fun. And to go from that to now not ever going to the range and not having my own gun, like, it, it drives me crazy. Oh, shit. And so I get salty. I'm not going to lie. Like, I see everyone going out to the range. I'm like, yeah. why, the, why do they have guns and I don't? Uh, like, I'm the one person that should have guns. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. went from, that's what I did for, like, a living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And it's like, so I started getting mad. I'm like, well, I should probably buy a gun first. And then, <laughs> you know, and go from there. You don't even have a gun? Yeah, I don't even have one. And I really want one. It's not yeah. like I'm against them. Even, and it's cool. Like, Sida's, like, on the train, too. She's like, I want a gun. Oh, yeah, definitely. What are you going to get? Uh, I want a handgun for now. Yeah. Probably like a Glock or something. I don't know. A little 9 mil or something. Mine's in the car. Yeah, but something like that. And then, um, definitely probably get like an, M an M4 or something. Nice. Something, something nice. Like one of, one of, one of each. I don't cool. need like a bunch of other stuff. Um, I know. I fell in love. Like, uh, my dad has, he has the AR. Mm -hmm. So it's sick. He, my dad has an AR. I bought my own handgun because I feel like I just, it's just good to have one. Yeah. And I love my handgun. It's Beretta beautiful shoots like a dream nice. uh, but i fucking fell in love with uh with the uh, rifles dude like steven he's got a 308 mm. and oh my god i don't know i can't get into rifles i i like the um i don't know I, they're just not my yeah. thing and you shot them so you know i don't yeah. know why bro like out there because todd and maybe because the way i got introduced to him so you know todd right mm -mm. he's a he's an older guy he goes to the gym he's like pretty much our our lord and savior and he's our leader He's no. a fucking badass, dude. Mm -mm. He used to shoot competitively. He works at YPG. He does, like, test shoot. He's fucking badass. No, you no. have to meet him. You'll love him. I might have seen him. I don't know names. He's so well. badass, dude. You'll love him. Sweetest guy ever, too. 
Anyways, he uh, he carried a fucking, I don't know how heavy it is. I feel like, I want to say 70 pound. It's a gong. It's a metal gong mm. that he carried up a mountain. And he's old, dude. He's like I my saw dad. This Steven posted it. Yeah. Up on the mountain? Yeah. And like something they were shooting Exactly. At? Yeah, yeah. So that's how I got introduced to rifles. And we were laying down and we're shooting at it. And it's tight because you, you fire and you just go. And then you go. Bing. Yeah. And it, I was like, oh, it's so sick. So I fell in love with shooting the rifle. And so every time we go, I like I shoot my handgun. I just shoot the box, but I'm not even like in a hurry to shoot it. I want to go shoot the rifle. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun, and it's Steve. Like I sh like I shoot one of Stevens because I don't have my own. Yeah. So I'm like, man. Yeah, and I was like that too because when my cousin invited me to go shooting, I've been wanting to go clay pigeon shooting so much. Oh, that looks like, you know, shoddy or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And just shoot some shit at it. But uh, I told my cousin, he was like, dude, let's just go, just shoot the real thing. Let's go dove hunting. Oh, that sounds. He fun. was like, "If it flies, it dies." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I'm down." But like at the same time, it was just yeah. I felt more of like a burden. Yeah. Because then I was like, "Well, I gotta go get my license." Um, and then he was like, "Do you have a gun?" I was like, "No." And he was like, "Well, I'll see if I can borrow my brother's." Like just all that. Yeah. It wasn't as simple as like, oh, "Yeah, I'm ready." Like I got my shit. Let's go. Yeah, let's it's, go. Yeah, it's like, well, I gotta find a gun for me. You know, yeah. I gotta I gotta go get ammo. Like it's like I'd rather just have my own shit, and then it's like we just go out there, and he shoots his shit, and I shoot mine. Yeah, same. But I don't know what I want, but I definitely want a gun. 100%. Dude, um, do you remember last year when Timmy went uh, dove hunting? And I, I don't know if this was real or I imagined this in my head, but I totally can imagine him doing this. He was dove hunting, and he shot a fucking dove out of the sky, and he caught it. Is that me or am I crazy? Did he catch it? I don't remember that. I remember him dove hunting. I yeah. know he goes hunt. I know he's like outdoorsy like that, but... Maybe I wanted that to happen. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I've seen videos was, like that. So maybe like you've seen a video and, and, and you seen Timmy do that. You just had a dream. Maybe I want to go dove hunting. That sounds fun, dude. I think just for the experience, because eventually I want to go hunting, hunting. Mm -hmm. and whether if it's with a rifle or with a bow, I was like uh, emotionally attached to wanting to do it with a bow. But at this point, I'm like, fuck it, I'll do it with a rifle because it's me. Yeah, with with bows, I was like super like I had never shot one before, and I'd always so, dude. I was uh, the, the way I was with bows was how I was with CrossFit. I talk shit about it without even doing it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. And now that I do it, I love it. So when I shot with Chris, I was like, Yo, this is fun. Did you get like, one? No, no, I didn't get. Fuck oh, okay. no, they're way too expensive. Yeah. I'd rather get a gun, honestly, first. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, so we shot his a couple times, and um, and like right away, like I I caught on real quick, like you know, you got it. Yeah, and so I was like, Yo, this is dope. It's fun, and so, huh? like, I, I was like, okay, now I see what the whole, like, you know, thing about bows is, but no, I definitely want to get a, a gun first. Yeah. Yeah, I used to always talk shit. I'm like, that's boring. Like, I want to hear, like, an explosion. <laughs> I know. I want to hear, like, fire. I want to see fire. Like, I want to see some shit, like, die. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to shoot with a bow and then I have to shoot a couple more times. Like, yeah, yeah. if I shoot in the head, like, is it going to kill it? Like, I know with a gun, it's going to fucking spread in its brain. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to fucking short. They don't fucking, I want to kill something. <laughs> I know. But, dude, have you ever seen, like, a deer in the wild? Yeah, dude. In Colorado, they'd be like in the front yard, like I they're forget. like a stray dog, dude. It was so weird. <laughs> like I, I, I had seen them like going up in California in the mountains and stuff. You'd see them, yeah. in the distance and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. dude, in Colorado, you just see them in the front yard. How did you react the first time you saw one? Oh, I, I rolled down the window. I wanted to pet it. Oh, I wanted really? to get out. Uh, yeah, dude. The first time I saw one, like in someone's like, um, like grass, I wanted yeah. to like go like, like try to oh, get it to come shit. to me. Like I was so like, oh shit. Yeah. So yeah. So I don't know. But dude. I, dude, I just fucking. R like reel it in and then fucking pop them dude. <laughs> you can't do that I don't Jordan. give a fuck dude <laughs> do, you, uh, do you remember when I went to Alaska last year yeah I do dude that uh, wasn't a dream I had then do you remember <laughs> <laughs> dude I have the weirdest dreams and I, sometimes I'm like is, wait, was that real sometimes I'll be like and I'll tell people my dreams are like that really happened that I'm was like, oh so it, it was real <laughs> it wasn't a dream that was a thing oh, okay so do you remember me posting about the moose yeah bro I was kind of scared they are scary, right? Bro, and they're not gonna really do anything. I mean, they'll charge at you, but like, they're not yeah. like they're not gonna fucking. They're not snakes. They're not gonna like Bro, bite you. And, like, they are huge. Yeah. And when I went, it was like obviously. Well, not obviously. I didn't know this when I went to Alaska. It's fuck. It's sunny there all the time. And when I went in the summer, the oh, sun okay. goes down for like maybe two hours or so. Mm -hmm. So I was shooting a wedding, and I got home like around midnight. So I come home. And I'm driving home. The sun's like if it's about to. The sun's about to set. There's a little bit of light out. You know, and you, but you can see everything. So I'm like tripping out because I'm still not acclimated to like, yeah, you yeah. know, because I was there for a couple of days prior. It was so cool. And I was driving and I drive up to the house and it's like beautiful, dude, where these people have giant house in the middle of like a mountain right next to trails. I drive up and I thought I was tripping, bro, but I see a baby moose and I'm like, oh shit, a fucking moose. I remember mm -hmm. driving. I was like, oh. 
a bruise. What the fuck? And I just stood there like this. No, I'm by myself. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, I don't know what to do. I was like, I don't want to drive up and spook it. Mm. I don't know if this is normal. So I drive into the driveway. And as I'm driving in the driveway, <coughs> excuse me, I see the mama moose. And I see it in my rear view. I'm, like, driving up, and I, like, see it. Like, it's like a movie, bro. I see it in my in my rear view, and I'm like, what the fuck? <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Ronald. <laughs> There's nothing in there. <laughs> All my liquids are out. Yeah. <clears throat> but I see it in the rear view, dude, and I'm like, what in the fuck? This thing is huge. I'm still <laughs> like that. Like, with, um, if I just see, like, a That's squirrel... A <laughs> if I just see like a squirrel or just something like an animal in the wild, I'm like that now. Like anything like that, just it drives it, it. It it blows my mind to think like these things aren't raised by humans. They just like naturally they just know how to like survive life. Animal. Yeah, and so I'm like that all the time. Like Sorry, if, throat if throat. we're walking through the park and I see a squirrel run in front of me, like oh shit, squirrel, and I'll stop and I'll see it like just like, looking at me, and I'm like, I wonder if I could pet it. Like I always think that because. <laughs> And I mean, literally, I know they have rabies and shit, but I'm always yeah, like that. Like, care. I always just get like, oh, shit. Like, the first time when I was in <clears throat> Georgia and I saw an armadillo, that, I was oh, like, that those, dude, every time I see those things, like, things like that, I'm like, those are real? I swear, dude. Like, oh, with the first time I saw, I was in uh, Virginia and I saw fireflies, yeah. I thought that was a cartoon. I thought, oh, that, I didn't know that was a real thing. That's cool. Dude, like, you can pick them up and they have little flashing lights on their Aww. butts. It's weird. That's awesome. I did not know that was a real thing. Like, yeah. I remember we were in the field and I was like, Yo, I keep I keep seeing like some lights over here. Like, are we still like doing like the run? Like, what's going on? Like, their enemy over here, and they're like, oh, they're probably just drag or fireflies. I'm like, that's a thing. I was like, I thought that was just like in like Disney movies. <laughs> that's thing grow up yeah. in the desert. Yeah, yeah. But people come here and they're like, dude, there's little rabbits that run around everywhere. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, fucking when I was at AWC, I just see like jack rabbits running on campus. Or fucking snakes. Yeah. Um, but to finish my move story, sorry, uh, I was dying. I forget we've been talking for two hours straight. Yeah. Um, I had a cover your cough so i just kept talking i appreciate you you get it um but i saw the moose why is it coming up did you choke on your spit no i don't know what i think i've just been blabbing for two hours before i have the rona fuck hopefully you do no because then i'll have it no cough on me (laughs) no i um but i saw the moose in the review and i tripped out bro and i remember it like you know those scenes in zombie movies where like the zombie sees you and it gets up slowly and it starts like it's gonna fucking get it, you. It, it almost does what you do. Like you don't want to move fast because you don't want to spook it. And so it's then doing it's the same like thing to you. Doing the same thing. It's you're like, doing? is that a human? Yeah, yeah. So like, then that thing. So I looked at my rear view and the fucking moose just goes, like I feel like it <laughs> got up almost. Yeah. And I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I don't want to move. And so I was scared to get out of the car, but it didn't move. Yeah, I budged. It didn't. So it, it didn't budge. So I had my. I had to get out of the camera bag. So. I reached in the back of the car, got the camera back. You don't want to turn your back to it? Yeah, and I was just like, (laughs) I'm not going to do anything to you. (laughs) Close the door. (laughs) Go back, and I like kind of ran in like a fucking whip. Yeah. Into the the house, and I ran in, and I was like, and I looked out the window, I was like, that thing is amazing. Yeah. I couldn't imagine shooting one, dude. Oh, I could. (laughs) I swear. I know it sounds bad, but like, I think they're cute and everything, and like. No, I would love to shoot one. But, yeah. I saw a. Like, I'm pretty sure shooting, like, an animal that huge and killing it I get is, like, scared. the same feeling as, like, hitting a home run or scoring a touchdown. Oh, my God. I bet. Dude, I just get scared because, like, I don't know why. Maybe I'm a pussy, bro. But when we were in Payson, I saw a fucking deer, like, a giant deer. And I was in the water, and I felt, like, on the bottom of the food chain. Like, I didn't have anything to protect me. So I was, like, in the water, like, knee, like literally knee deep in the water. And there was a deer there. And I was, like, if there's a fucking deer here, there's a goddamn bear here. That's all I could think about. <laughs> And I was like tripping because I saw this thing and I was like, what the fuck? So I like ran. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Because I didn't have anything to protect me. I was just like, and that was, I had my gun at the time, but um, it was in the car and I was like, oh, fucking A, I should have brought this yeah. thing. That's just like when you're in the beach and you see seals around, you're like, there must be sharks nearby. There 100%. has to be. Like, you know? Dude, even those seals in La Jolla, those things are savages. Yo, they those are. Things will fuck you up. Big ass teeth. People like... are over there trying to pet it. I'm like, you're retarded. Yeah. You're going to get taken down to the water. And you're going to die. Yeah, I keep my distance. If, I'm not, if I don't have nothing to kill him with, I'm just going to take a picture. Yeah, and I'm that's good about it. it. Yeah, I'm not going to choke a seal out. Yeah. Uh, you ever seen those videos where the uh, people are fucking with the seals, like they're feeding them, and then one comes up and just jacks them? No. Dude, there's one where uh, the seal pulls in a kid, dude. 
Oh, I seen that one. Yeah, Near the, the dock, little Asian girl. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That shit's like crazy. pulls up by her back of her shirt. Bro, the dad has to jump in and pull her out. Oh I was like, oh, God. that's scary. Because those things don't give a fuck. They'll probably drag it down and, and probably try to drown it. Yeah, and then eat it. it and then eat you. Yeah, fuck that, bro. Savages. I know, man. I think we did two hours. Yeah. Obviously, my throat's not keeping up. So. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. You sound like a seal right now. Like an old seal. Or like one dried up on the beach. <laughs> And then they walk. You gotta go out. push him in. <laughs> Come on, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> trying to bite you. I'm trying to help you. Fuck you then. You can die here. <laughs> <laughs> you little Larry. No, yeah, I gotta go, I gotta go get ready for the gym. It's about that time. What time is it? it? Oh, it's three. Hey, let's go to the gym. Let's go. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Thanks for being on. Thank you for inviting me. And I hope to get you on soon. It's just every time I want to bring you on, I get like um like I feel like you're gonna judge me because you're gonna see like my production value and it's nothing like this. And you're gonna be like, what's he doing? Why is he getting up all the time to press record? Like, I just I don't know. I know you're not gonna do that, but not gonna the whole that. time we be sweating. I'll like, come on. Is any he comfortable? Time. I'll come on anytime. All right, man. Well, hopefully we can get you on next week. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Love you too, brother. Bye. Bye. Bye.